Ah. All right, thank you, thank you for joining us for another class here at SOW. All right, stream of wisdom. All right. Yeah, if you can, does that raise up a little bit? You can raise that up a little bit. Shalom, shalom. We're here out of Rochester, New York. All right, 1600 Lyle Ave. We are here, Suite 1A. If you want to come to class, we have class every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, or through uh, Friday, is going to be 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. And then Shabbat morning class on Saturday is going to run from 12 p.m. until we end. All right, so the water for all those, the water for all those, for all those that have been watching. All right, please support our other schools. We have San Antonio, Houston, and Virginia. All right, like, share, and subscribe these fantastic classes that brothers are putting together for the nation's edification. All right, um, also support the Blog Talk Radio. We have Priest Mashaba, we have Priest Tazapa, we have Priest Barnabad that are putting together these elite classes, man. I'm talking about episode 25 right for years so please support support um getting help to our people uh support support the news show uh sow news we got some new things coming up so please check that out we just had an incident out here in rochester mind you it's something common where uh murder murder she wrote right but it was involved with a, a brother man that got caught up in somebody else's drama somebody else's business. And that's the problem with a lot of our people. They're busybodies. Israel loves to be nosy. And look what happens when you're nosy. You get caught up and you get left out there distressed because our people are busybodies. The scripture says, suffer not as a thief, as a murderer, and as a busybody. And this is what happens to our people when we are caught up in the drama. Busybody. Man, give me that real quick, Uriah, because you just stepped in. Right? Give me that real quick, that busybody. That's in uh, First Peter. That's in First Peter. Busybody. First Peter 4 and 15. Right? First Peter 4 and 15. Just on this, because, you know, this is the new age. Everything's about Everything's about, um, um, what is it, the social media. Let me, put, let me put this person's information on blast. His status, his video. Everybody's all about everybody else's business except their own. Especially our people that don't have the wisdom and knowledge. Come on. Right, they're into foolishness. And this is why their life, it comes to not. It comes to nothing. He putting all energy in everybody else, a little dirty old life. Right. You worried about uh uh what's the little curly head chick, the rapper? Ice Spice, you worried about her little tape that done came out. Better not be watching it. Right? You worried about all this foolishness outside of your life. What the most high wants you to now be focused on. Our people got issues. Focus issues. So let's read this. Or Peter! Chapter 4, verse 15. All right, so 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 15. Just on this point in regards to the new show that we tapped on, right, that we went into. Go ahead, let's read this. But let none of you. But let what? But let none of you <laughs> suffer as a murderer. You hear this? The most high, right, is, is letting us know. Suffer not, right? Suffer not. Go ahead. Read it again. But... Let none of you suffer Come on. as a murderer. As a what? As a murderer. As a murderer. Suffer not as a murderer. Peter gives that indication. Go ahead. Or as a thief. Or as a what? Or as a thief. Or as a thief. Ah. These are things that we should not be partaking in. Thievery. A lot of Israel got sticky fingers, man. You've been doing it since you was young. <laughs> you were stealing candy at the dollar store. Ah. You were five years old. And now that has progressed to what? Arm, larceny. Larceny, as they call it. 
right? We got cats out here in Rochester out. They not even hiding their face no more. God. This one Negro had the nerve. He had his face covered. Before he left out, he dropped it down. Get a nice keen picture of his face, man. Because our people are slow. God. Suffering that as a thief. What do you have, Ike? What do you have? I don't know when I because I, when you said uh, sometimes when we was younger we used to throw candy. Oh yeah. But it, it just reminded me when I was younger, my mom had these quarters, okay. nickels, right? And I used to go and take those. You and steal from your old mama. <laughs> see, <laughs> go to the store to get see, some candy. That, see, that's what the scripture says. There's a generation, right? There's a generation that curses date not with. right? Okay. That was us though. You know, you still up in J.C. Penney's at a young age, going with your mama to, to go shop. You know, you see her shop and you ain't got no money. You still in the ring, something you can put in your pocket. Throwing it over the fence line because you knew you done stole. I don't want to get caught up with it. Let me get the evidence off you. What you got? Yeah, well, when I used to go, I was like uh, around eight or ten, and I used to go to Wegmans. Right. And they had this uh, this this donut. Um, at the donut section where I thought that you it was actually free donuts you can get. So you could just right. open up the I, door I that way now. Get, the, get the donut and start eating it. Right. So my mom had to tell me, no, you're stealing. You just you know you got paid for that, right? Right. Oh, I didn't know and I just kept eating it. So that's what I used to do. I didn't know until but when I did knew, I right. still used to do it because I was already like, I'm already doing it. It's something natural. Right. So I'm going to take a donut every time I go there. But she was telling me, no, you can't take no donut. Where are you doing? Right. Doing if you go to jail, I ain't, I'm, come, I'm not coming to get you out. Right. Because that spirit would do what? It'll grow. God. Especially if it wasn't checked. Well, let's read this again because for those that just came in, we're going over. Um, just, I just wanted to touch a little bit on the announcements and dealing with the news channel that we have and how the brother that was killed, he was murdered on, it was actually Saturday night, America time, Babylon time. God. Right. We know. Sundown, it was Sunday, next day. Right. Right? So the brother said I was in the spirit. Right? God. <laughs> I said Sunday night. It was definitely Saturday night. Right? It was a long day. God. Seven hours Sabbath class. And we gonna hit these streets. God. Right? But the brother got caught up in what? He was in somebody else's business. This is what a lot of our people get caught up in, man. God. You all in your mama business. All in your, your cousin's business. And your life is in shambles, man. We try to now, we try to, we try to deflect mm -hmm. things that are going on in our life by paying attention to other people. Like that's gonna make you feel a lot better. No, 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 no. Right. All it does is delay the destruction that's coming from your issues. God. Read it again from the top. Let them know where you at. First Peter, chapter four, verse fifteen. Yeah. So please like, like the video, get some thumbs up, like it, share it. Right. Like it and share it. Come on. But let none of you right. suffer as a murderer. Let nobody suffer as a murderer. Go ahead. You shouldn't be killing nobody. That anger, that malice spirit come upon you so heavy. God. You ready to choke somebody out. You got a road rage. Right? right? You're going to be like that one white boy I've seen, Esau. He got out the car thinking he was tough. Try to punch the window. He broke the glass to get shot. Mm. He punched the window. Somebody in the car hit him with the what? Hit him with the wop wop. Hit him with, hit him with the, the, uh, uh, the person left him sticky. Yeah. The yapper. He ran from the car. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know you're second guessing it now. <laughs> right? Suffer not as a murderer. Go ahead. Or as a thief. As a thief. Go ahead. Or as an evildoer. Or also as an evildoer. And those evildoers is involved with what? Corrupt thinking. God. Evil. Whatever your mind now tries to, to, to muse upon for wickedness. Evil. You plotting against somebody. You trying to steal from the brakes truck, right? You got to cast down that thought, man. You can't rob. You can't rob the brakes truck, man. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work, Jake. <laughs> I know it. When I was in the military, I went through all possible ways it could be done, right? Kill all evil thoughts. Go ahead. Come on. God. It says suffering out as a thief or as an evil doer. Go ahead. Or as a busy body. Or as a what? Or as a busy body. As a busy body. This is what is wrong with our people. They're busy bodies. You know me. God. And now you done been put down on the ground for the rest of your life. You're done. You're dead. Your spirit is gone because why? 
you couldn't help yourself. An unfortunate part about it, you know, the brother's sister probably was, she wouldn't listen to no type of knowledge. Right? He probably already told you about the person you was with. And now he did something to the sister, the man she was dealing with, that he already probably already foretold what's going to happen, man. She didn't want to listen. So now he got to be big bro. I got to go over there and, 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 and get big and, big and bad. Right? It probably was something small, too, at that. Because, yeah. you know, Jake, I, we love to be dramatic, man. We love to blow things out of proportion. Yeah. It'd be something so small. I ain't gonna get no sandwich. You gonna give me a sandwich today? Like, what? It went from a sandwich to you a punk or a punk dude? Cause I ain't give you no sandwich? Right. <laughs> and now he done pulled out the blicky. Cause you done said something to him. Listen, that's how um, Nipsey Hussle died. Hmm. Nipsey Hussle died because he called the dude a snitch. He basically called him a snitch, a punk, or something like that. I, he used words, huh. grievous words, huh. that cut to the soul. Uh, that broke them bones, man. Uh, and he did what? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. He can't. No, no. He can't tell me that. Right. right? And went back and killed Nipsey off of words. Give me that dictionary right there, please. What you got? Look up Busy Black. So, Nipsey yeah. was calling um, Big U a snitch. Correct? Because they said. Big no, U. no, no. I don't know about Big uh, U. I know about that situation was that he told him specifically that he was a punk. He basically, he basically embarrassed him in front of the hood, right? It was something that he did specifically to him. I don't say I had nothing to do with no big U head or nothing like that. I don't know. Yeah, because on, on this on one, it was this one, um, I think it was a podcast show. Right. Where they said uh, big U had talked to somebody. Right. And he was like, it just killed, it just killed Nip. And then he called Nip, Nipsey Hussle, and Nipsey Hussle picked up, but he didn't know that he was going to get killed right after. He was thinking uh, Big U was just playing around or something like that, and he called him, he picked up. And then, like, once he hung up with him, he later died after that. Right, nah. Now, the thing about it is that they, that person that killed him, they had an altercation. Right. So the guy left and they came back. It had nothing to do with that guy. I, it, it minds you, I don't even like listening to shows like that. Look at this. A busybody. One who, of, what is that? Uh -uh. One who officiously. officiously concerns himself with the affairs of others. Mm. Ah, we love drama. Ah. And that's why cats get caught in the crossfire. Right. You want to go see where the shooting at? You get shot too. Um. You want to go to the hot party? Well, you going to get stomped out too. Everybody went to the Gorilla Glue concert and got stomped out. Mm. They couldn't even get out the door, man. Come on. Because people are busy bodies. Read it again. Come on. Verse 15. Read. But let none of you suffer as a murderer. Read. Or as a thief. Come on. Or as an evildoer. Come on. Or as a busy body. Or as a what? Busy body. Or as a busy body. Y'all see that? Come Or as a busy body. Right? Uh, if you mind, um, can you take this real quick? Take this shot. What you got? Kyle, let's just suggest you take uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 11. We'll go with this. 1 what? Thessalonians 4 and 11. What's that? Kyle. Let me see. We'll, hold on a second. Kyle. We'll, we'll go to it. Just go home. Kyle. What you got? Uh, th this, is the, <clears throat> this is the definition of the word officiously. Okay. Officiously. It says, objectionably aggressive in offering one's unrequested Look at this. and unwanted Look at this. <laughs> services. Right. You now jump into the thing that did, was not required of you to. Man. Uh, unwanted. You don't cause chaos. Uh, your attitude, your lack of control, your, your lack of uh, uh, control of that mouth has now brought what? Man. Issues. Uh, Right? Because it says one who officiously concerns himself. It ain't it's not wanted. Right. You're not needed. What else you got? <laughs> Unrequested or unwanted help. Services, help, or advice. And you know what's so crazy? A, yeah. a lot of times it's like that. Yeah. Like your family member really don't want your help. No. Right. They love that toxic relationship. Right. But what do we do? Run to the rescue. We try to run to the rescue and now you done got dropped down. 
God. They say he got shot and ran into a store. Ran into a store, calling for help. Oh, help! Mm. And I know it as the pain was was increasing. Mm. Yeah. As the pain, I know he was like, damn, I, sh I should have let that bald head sister man. I should have let my sister be, man. Because look what done happened now, man. Yeah. You was, a, you know, in, in, in cold part of body, it wasn't even, you know, the other things on Facebook. I'm not going to put his business out there, right, that he was about. Oh, right? This was, this was something, man, that could have been avoided, like you said. Yeah. Right? So, you know, again, support the channel. Got support it. the channel. We're going to put a lot more content, a lot more videos up. All right? So... That is SOW News. You can find that on, what is it, Israelite Media, Media Corp. Corp. That's Israelite Media Corp, all right? Um, TikTok, all those good things, all right? What's the TikTok? Uh, stream of Wisdom. Stream of Wisdom, TikTok. If you're on TikTok, actually, you know, use your time wisely. Look God. at some positive videos, all right? God. Um, Take it. Saha uh, Wong has a lot of videos up there. Saha uh, Wong, my young, out of Houston, has many videos. And he's been pushing on that TikTok, so we're just trying to do our part and add um, some added content. God. You know, everybody has brains and skills, and we're trying to add our part out here in Rochester, all right? Keep you up to date. As you know, Passover is going to be uh, next week, next week Sunday, all right? So it's coming up quick. So, you know, if you don't have your ticket, listen, you better do something, God. right? If you don't got your plane ticket, your bus ticket, you know, your walking ticket, you better do something uh -huh. because it's coming fast, all right? Um, yeah, what you got? The brother dropped a, a scripture. What's that? The comment. Uh, brother Moshe dropped Ecclesiastes. Uh, Ecclesiastes. What's that? Ecclesiastes God. 11 and 10. God. What's that say? Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 10. Go ahead. My son, meddle not right. with many matters. Yeah, meddle not with many matters, especially ones that don't belong to you. Go ahead. For if thou meddle much, uh -huh. thou shalt not be innocent. Ooh. Oh. That's it? Go ahead. And if thou follow after, uh -huh. thou shalt not obtain. You see that? You follow after. You follow after issue or uh, um, problems of somebody else. Most likely you're not going to be innocent. Why? Because he already told us to do what? Meddle not. Right? Go ahead. Neither shalt thou escape by fleeing. Look at that. And, and, and we see that that was the case. He was not able to flee. Yeah. Right? You got, you got, uh, it's sad, man. It's like, if y'all was up there, you could just see the family members. They was, go, it was breaking down. Uh -huh. Tears. Yeah. We just talked to him. I believe it. But nobody told him to do what? Mm. That ain't your, that's not your business, huh? Right? No. I know he probably got the phone call. He ran up there. Yeah. You know? Unfortunate, man. But these are, these cases are, are common with our people. Uh, y'all see that? Uh, these cases are very common. And we're trying to bring it to life for a lot of the people that are asleep. A lot of Israel are asleep to not see that what the Most High has already foretold, and technically that, that's the class title, is about biblical prophecy foretold. You know, uh, if anybody can edit that, put that up there. Biblical prophecy foretold is that the Most High already told us that these type of events were going to happen. Our people were now going to be what? in these situations where they're now taken out. Eyes evil towards now their brethren. Y'all see this? God. Eyes evil towards their brethren. We, we had a brother to pass away. Same situation, man. He ran to, the, to his death. Yeah. Ran to his death. God. You're now trying to help out a person that just got stolen, right? Larceny was, was upon him. Burglary. But burglary and what? Wickedness. And you want to go help. And what happened? Bah! Mm. You get shot trying to help a nigga. Mm. You know, and unfortunately, man, the brother was a good brother. But what happened? You're meddling in issues that don't pertain to you. So I'm going to say this, brothers and sisters, man. You better watch out. Mm. You better watch out, especially with brothers and or with your family members, with friends that have dug a deep ditch for themselves. Uh, uh, unfortunately, a lot of us can't really help them outside of communication. <laughs> and a lot of them don't even want to hear that. God. You see that? God. Let, let's be real. A lot of our people don't want to hear biblical instruction. God. They don't want to hear biblical guidance mm. to keep them away from the pit. Give me that. 
and Job. Keep them away from the pit and give me that in Ezekiel. Right? Because this is what they do. And this is what we have to understand as believers, especially in his knowledge and truth. That a lot of our people are not going to want to hear what will help them, what will bring healing to them. This is why a lot of them got to cut off ties before you die. Mm. Before something happens to you. Huh? Yeah. Yes. The last uh, that is in, uh, it's in Ezekiel. But they pull the shoulder. Oh, the one in verse 2. Oh, Ecclesiastes 11 and 10. Yeah, that was, that was in the chat. That was Ecclesiastes 11 and 10. Where are we at, though? Uh, Job 33 and verse 18. Read it, Job 33 and verse 18. Come. Right? Just, just on this subject, man, it's, it's man. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a subject that's very important because a lot of us are still being affected by situations like this, even in the truth. You gotta be aware. Come. Come. We, got, we gotta understand how the Most High wants us to look at our family members and individuals that live a contrary life. We gotta look at these things and really ask, does God want me to help? Right? Does God want me to help? Yeah. Or even, let's ask the question, how to help? Because a lot of us don't even know how to properly help our people. God. Right? We think we got to go over and out for the wicked. Over and out for those that don't want to listen. So where are we at? Come on. Job chapter 33, verse 18. Yeah, Job chapter 33. Is it frozen? Job, maybe yours is frozen. Job chapter 33 and verse 18. Now they said it was the charger. Oh, it's the charger? Yeah. It wasn't the charger. Car. Oh, it was not charging. Car. Is it charging now? Yes. Okay. Let's read this. Come on. Job chapter 33, verse 18. Yeah, Job 33. Wait, wake up, Israel. Listen. Job 33. Job 33 and verse 18. Come on. He keepeth back his soul. He does what? He keepeth. Let me see. Yeah. Let me get, hold on, real quick. Job 33. Um, I want right to the point. Uh, give me a. I mean, keep, just keep reading. Go ahead. He keep his back, his soul from the pit. And his life from perishing by the sword. Right, it says that there be one messenger. Oh, yeah. Give me that real quick. Give me a verse 23. Jump to verse 23. Come. Verse 23. Go ahead. If there be a messenger. If there be a what? A messenger. And, and this is the point. The Most High is sending out messengers to our people. But we don't want to listen. Israel does not want to listen. They love chaos. Right? They they love uh they love lotto music. Lot uh what's lotto? Lotto. Sunday service. Y'all heard that? No. Right, a brother had to send that to my line, man, and, and lotto is, is demonic. But how much more the other influences in the world that draws our people away? Our people are being drawn away God. by their own lust, what they desire. And we think we're gonna be Superman, Captain America, Captain Negro. No, stop it. Hell no. They're going to continue in the madness. Until the Most High does what? Until he touches them, man. A lot of times Israel won't learn until pain is commenced upon them. Read it again. The Most High does what? If, if there be a messenger uh -huh. with him, Go ahead. an interpreter, an interpreter, one among a thousand to sue unto men his righteousness. Right, to show unto men his righteousness. Go ahead. Then he is gracious unto him. Go ahead. And saith, deliver him from going down to the pit. And this is the point. The Most High wants to deliver our people from the pit. He wants to deliver our people from death. Right? Again, that's why you have the knowledge. That's why... When the Most High puts on your shirt to tell them about themselves, to tell them about stop eating pork, to tell them to, uh, listen, uh, lay off the adultery, 
Stop committing adultery. Listen, stop selling drugs. We done talked to some, some cat, 65 years old, still talking about dope. Like, all right, we had, we had, the conversation was so good. Then he talking about how to sell dope. I couldn't believe that, the transition. Wow. It's like, God, right, we don't believe in no dope selling. That's one of the problems. But our people don't want to hear that because they're stuck in their ways. Y'all see this? God. And again, the people, and let me be more direct, the people that are stuck in their ways are your mothers, they're your fathers, they're your cousins, they're your, your best friends. Listen, Lord willing, it ain't your wife, it ain't your husband, because it's going to be there too. That want to do what the hell they want to do. God. And the Most High sends a messenger, right, to warn them. They send a, the Most High sends a watchman to warn them and to show them, right, God. what they're doing is wrong. But a lot of our people don't want to hear. What do they do? Where are we at? Zechariah? Yep. Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. So Zechariah chapter 7, and verse 11. What do they do? What does Israel do? Zechariah. That's a tucked away book, I know. We're going to touch that a lot, right? <laughs> Zechariah. That's all right. Go to that content. Right? Flip through it. God. Old Testament. Hey, you got to get used to that sword. The the what? I think it's the, it's the last book before, uh, before, before Malachi. Right. Right before Malachi. Let's read this. Come on. Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. All right. Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 11. Go ahead. But they refused to hurt. Where are we at again? Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. Yeah, my father, I was at 5 11. Yep, 7 11. Go ahead. But they refused uh -huh. to hearken. They do what? They refused to hearken. Y'all see that? Uh -huh. Our people refuse to hearken. Uh -huh. Which means refuse to listen, to give ear. Right. To the warning, to the counsel, to the education that the Most High is trying to deliver to them. Our people are ignorant, lacking understanding. Mm -hmm. So, how is it now supposed to be given? By the prophet, by the teacher. By you, but our people don't want to listen. Go ahead. And pulled away the show. They did what? And pulled away right. the oh, show. Yeah, they, they literally, nigga, please. Uh, psh, I, I, I don't want to hear. Ah, no. That's not my prior, uh, uh, priority or prerogative. God, bro. I want to do what I want to do. Y'all see this? God. And we try to help people like this, man. And I get it, long suffering, but la ha. You gotta help from a distance. Right. You gotta help from a distance, man, because a lot of us, we will end up what? Influenced. Mm -hmm. We will end up influenced. You thinking you going over there to what? To fight that demon off of them, and their demon jumps on you. And now you doing what? Just moving around just like them. Just like them, man. And this is why the most high told us to do what? Get away from the nation. God. Step away from the nation. Stop being so influenced by the nations. But Israel thought we could do what? Like Dinah. I'm going to go down there and see what's going on and just check it out. And what happened? I got overcame. God. Mm. I done got took it. Right? God. Dinah, Jacob, his daughter, was taken by the Hamites. Because of what? Curiosity. She was friendly. Right? She was, uh, what's the word? She was gullible, right? Because she thinks she's doing good. Mm. You know, they 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 they, they can't they can't hurt us. Right. You know, I, I don't see that. I don't see negative in people. Yeah, but the conspiracy that righteousness in you that they're trying to draw away. Huh. Keep reading, come on. And stop their ears. And what? And stop their ears. Right, y'all hear that? They huh. draw away the I want y'all to I want y'all to listen to this verse because this is what our people do. They pull the shoulder. And they stop their ears. You know how they used to do it in school? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't hear you. Nigga, don't talk to me. Nigga, don't talk to me. They start singing. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think people wear headphones now? God. Block out everything. They try to. Yeah. Even the demons. Mm. Right? No, a dog on what they can't block them out. You can't run from this, man. But our people try to stop their ears from hearing wisdom. Go ahead. That they should not hear. That they what? That they should not hear. That they should not hear. Do y'all hear this? God. Come on. Yay. They made their heart right? as an adamant stone. They, they're as a stone. Can nothing penetrate them. God. I'm good. I love my weed. I love my weed and my crawfish. I love my oysters. Mm. I love oysters so much. I'm putting bread. I'm putting uh, uh, how they got it out 
out there in Houston right now. It's called the, it's called the Oyster Hut. I'm putting uh, cornbread dressing on my oyster. I'm going to fancy it up on you niggas, man. And then I'm going to grill it, and then I'm going to put some cheese sauce on it. Man, you put cheese on anything, a nigga love it. God. Jake love it. God. Cheese and 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 uh, slap your mama seasoning. Oh right. That's right, all. Right. That's all a Negro need. Right? <laughs> slap your mama seasoning. Right? Yeah. It says they made their heart as adamant stone. They made excuses to justify their action. God. Right? No, no, no. We we it help me with my ailments. Mm -mm. Nigga, you done had this ailment for 30 years. You ain't been healed yet. Mm. Mm. We make me, it make me operate better. It don't sound like it. God. You're stuttering. You still got the shakes. You still forget. Mm. Your lips look like they, they uh, you can't breathe. Your lungs, uh, your alveoli in your lungs are not operating at its optimal mm. uh, percentage. God. Your lips is blue. They black. They <laughs> black. <laughs> but what does Israel do? They make their heart as an adamant stone. I, I don't want to hear it. Right? Well, God, if God gave herb, why could he gave the roach? You ain't eating that. God. Right? He gave the monkey. You ain't trying to eat that. God. You don't even want that as a pet. God. <laughs> Jake, uh, they they listen, why to do evil? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? God. But what I'm saying is that. A lot of us get involved with people like really involved. And you're involved with a person that does not want to change. Right. And the most high gives a, a specific strategy on how to deal with a person like that. Mm. He gives a specific strategy how to deal with brothers and sisters that do not want to listen to the gospel. Mm. Especially from you believers. Yeah. Right? God. Those that believe in the most high in your house. Put off the old man. Right? Put on the new. If nobody want to do that, man, you better... Get the two stepping away from this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Let's read. Come on. Yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. They made their heart as an adamant stone. Go ahead. At least they should hear the law. And they should hear it. They don't want to hear the law. Right. They don't, at least they should hear it. They don't want to hear communicate. Mm -hmm. They don't want to communicate. Communicate to who? I'm going to communicate to myself. Because I don't want my mind to be checked. So I'm going to run. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run. Mm -hmm. No, I don't need it. No, wrong number. Oh. Right? You forwarding calls now? Somebody, if somebody's trying to reach out to you to see if you're okay, you don't even want to check in. Wow. Why? Because they're going to justify. See, see, because, uh, you know, white people. Like, what about white people? Like, mm. huh? Because we got jobs, we got to work for Esau, and that's, what, that's your excuse? Mm. They too easy on Esau? You work for whitey. Our people got excuses, huh? God. That they now try to make reality. Yeah. When it's Nothing but what? Them just denying the spirit of the Most High. Same thing Stephen said. Right? God. You stiff necks. You always resist the Holy Spirit. And a lot of our people will resist the Holy Spirit. Your family members will. I know it's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow. You got to love them from a distance. Unless you and your family is going to be swallowed up. And this is the problem because the scriptures said it. The scriptures have already foretold that this was going to happen. Right? That's why he said, learn not the way of the heathen. A lot of our people are moving around like heathens. They're thinking like heathens. Go ahead, come on. Least they should hear the law. Least they what? Should hear the law. Least they should hear the law. Go ahead. And the words which the Lord of hosts come on. have sent in his spirit. You hear that? They don't want to hear the words that are sent to them. I want to ask y'all, how do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about... You constantly talking to your family members and friends about the knowledge, and they keep denying it. How do you feel about that? How do you feel? Online? I want y'all to answer that. How do you feel when you constantly give your spirit to a person that seems to not want to receive what you're telling them? Mother, father, sister, brother. How does that make you feel? Anybody in here? Anybody online? What you got, Dan? I feel like just giving up. Like if you want something to burn, burn. Right. Next time, don't come calling me. If you want to burn, I told you. If you don't want to listen. James four seventeen. You know what I'm saying? Those that know to do better, or don't do better, to sin. Right. So sin is burn. I, I can't do no more. 
Right. You don't want to stress myself out, so. Right. You don't want to stress yourself out. You know, if that's how you want to live, that's how you're going to live, right? Burn. Burn. That's what you said, right? Okay. Burn. What you got, I? Right? Um, cause I, I, when I first came to the truth, I used to. A little bit louder, I'm glad to hear you. Con, when I first came to the truth, I used to um, tell my mom a lot, you know, how to, how to work through the scriptures, how to really be a, a mother and a woman through the scriptures. And, right. you know, she'll, she'll listen, but not really understand. So then after a while, I just, I just stopped really, you know, trying to talk to her about it because it's, it's like it's like a waste of breath and it's a waste of time right so you know that's just let her do what she wants to do and then i just right do what i do you know? Be, but why, why though because everybody has a choice kind of everybody has choices uh-huh. and to be honest with you the most high does respect your choice he does if it's good or if it's evil. God. That's your choice. God. And we will have to do what? Reap God. of those choices. God. Good or evil. God. Y'all see this? God. So why should not that mind be in us? Well, I respect your choice. But I now have to respectfully do what the Bible says. I have to now do exactly what the book is telling me to do. Because naturally we think what? Well, you know, I can just kick it with them and, you know, do my thing. Well, look what, look what happened to the brother. He's dead now. Yeah. He's dead now. Over being involved with somebody that probably won't even listen. God. His little sister. He's been probably trying to teach and preach to her since he was young. Since she was young. Yeah. But what does she want to do? Huh? Her prerogative. I mean, Bobby, who said that? What, what track is that? That's uh, Bobby Brown, man. God. It's my prerogative. God. That's Israel. It's my prerogative. I do what I do. It's my prerogative. Right? You're going to die doing what you do. Uh-huh. You're going to die because it says it. He that hated for proof. Give me that real quick in Proverbs 15 and 10. Proverbs 15 and 10. I got you, Trey. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 10. You can do your prerogative. It's my prerogative. Right? I'm going to do what I do. <laughs> While you drink your Hennessy and smoke your weed and shake your booty. Right. Twerk all you want. Twerk till death. Twerk till death. Mm. Have, have fun. You're going to break your back. You're going to break your back. Okay, girl. It was uh, 2000. It was on the Harlem Shake. The Harlem Shake. Uh, what's that? She Lean shook. with it, rock with it. She, Man. She did it so far back to broke her neck and died. Look at that. She, she did the <laughs> lean back, twerk with it, right. shake with it, right. and broke a vertebrae. <laughs> The Most High snapped the vertebrae. Yeah. You, she, she was going all out when she could have been going all out for garments. Yeah. All out in the ministry. Mm. And she now has to be known as the girl that broke her back doing a Harlem shake, broke her neck. God, literally, a damn. Because that's all she had, man. A damn broke her neck. That, she thought that was her worth. God, because she was in a video. Look at that. With the, with the crank that boy. So she died doing the video. I don't know if it was a video, but she was doing the dance, so. Oh, right. She died, and that next, that, that Man, she probably was high, on a purpose set, thought she was floating. Mm. And damn near, did her last snap. Right? God. What you got, like? Uh, it's a lot of uh, online answers to your question. Right, that's cool. We're going to be that. Let me hit this real quick description. About, again, you going to twerk till you die, because they don't want to drink your Hennessy. Drink it, mind you. We know drinking is lawful, but moderation. God. Our people drink for every occasion. Right? God. They, they, they oh. drink it Tuesday. On a oh. Tuesday. Right. right. Yeah. Boss is on their neck, I'm drinking. Wife on my neck, I'm drinking. Right. Uh, it's traffic on, on Houston Highway, I'm drinking. Right. Like, damn, you drink every day. Nephew, you coming over? We drink. Right, nephew. <laughs> Let's have a good talk. Drinking. God. But what did the Most High say was going to happen to people? That refuse instruction, that refuse reproof. Read it, come on. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 10. Proverbs 15 and 10, read. Correction is grievous. No, give me, um, it is, it's 15. Oh. You can give me that though, too. Give me that real quick. Correction is grievous. Right. Unto him that forsaketh the way. Right, y'all hear that? Oh. Correction is grievous unto them that forsaketh the way. Y'all see that? That was 10, I said, right? God. No, give me, uh, give me, it's proper, it is, it's in proper 15. 32. No, not 32. Okay. Nope. Oh, no, no, keep reading. No, it's there. My fault. Go ahead. 
And he that hateth reproof. And he or she that does what? Hateth reproof. If you don't want to be checked, you don't want to be corrected. If you hate reproof, right? You're trying to get guided. The most high is trying to lead you, hmm. right? He's trying to guide you. He's trying to bring you out of that pit. You don't want to hear from him. Go ahead. Self done. He shall do what? Self done. The most high said, if you don't want to listen, he's just going to die. God. So twerk till you die. God. Yeah. Go off and be with everybody else in the world until you die. Man. You see this? God. So I'm not playing with disrespectful and disgruntled men and women. And this is why we have to understand this. That a lot of our brothers and sisters already have death warrants. Yeah. They got death warrants on them. And it's just a matter of time until when the Most High collects. Y'all see this? God. This is why the Most High gave us specific orders on how to deal with people mm -hmm. like this. Brothers and sisters, peers that don't want to listen. And then you have to understand, even in the congregation, you're going to have brothers and sisters that don't want to listen. Okay. Well, they got to be told. They got to be checked. Mm. Because that influence can now be what? Very effective uh, in the body. Right? God. You know, you got a, a brother or sister don't like to communicate. Mm. Right? They want to show up when they want to. It don't work like that, man. Nope. You want, you want to hear it. I know you don't want to hear it, but you're going to have to hear it. Yeah. Then they flee. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Right? But what does the scripture say? Let's go to uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and verse uh, 13. And we'll read some of these, uh, read some of these uh, comments. What you got? Right, go ahead. Read those. Okay. Yes, uh, go to the comments. Who got those comments? Yeah, read some of those comments. Okay. What you got? This is, this is Howard. So, this is Howard. He said, makes me want to dismiss them all right. the way. But I love him so much, you keep reaching out. Brother Moshe. And, and it's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But but it's even just, just even the reaching out part, man. It's like we get caught up with trying to, we get caught up with trying to in our reaching out. Yeah. But it's during the times you need to be reaching out to class. You need to be around the body. It's like their life should now affect your path. Right. What you got, Trey? Yeah, um, for me, it's, um, I used to get frustrated right and um you know thinking about it too much right because i start to feel sad or bad right, right, right. they're not going to be saved but you know after a while i just grew numb to it because it was distracting me from you know keeping my head in the bible and right you know doing what i'm supposed to do you know to save myself and you know the people and you know other people Right. You know what I mean? Right. Taking on those same folks. Right. Distracting me from giving the word out to other people who may need it. Right. You know? And there you go. But, but I'm going to say this, though, too, is because we don't know what their end is going to be. That's another angle. Yeah. This is something else that we have to consider. Right? Is that we don't know. They might snap into it two years later down the road. Mm -hmm. Which is, we don't give up on them. Yeah. But we still got to love them from a distance. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We still not have to do what? Have compassion on the ignorant. Kind but that doesn't mean that now I'm pulling up every time to grandma and mama house. Right? Mm -hmm. That don't mean that. That means that, no, they need to see my example. Right? They need to see what living righteous looks like. And for them to understand how their living is the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Why they're in pain. Right? They got to somehow comprehend what they're going through is, is, is by bad decision making. How do we show a person, how do we cause a person to know that they have bad decision making? Always enable them? Mm -hmm. Always making it seem like it's sweet? No. Heck no. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us the strategy how to deal with brothers and sisters in the right spirit. Because mm -hmm. you don't have to. I ain't messing with you, nigga. You don't got to do that. Mm -hmm. Keep staying on your path. Mm -hmm. Keep locking into the spirit that the most I has you walking in. Mm -hmm. And if that person's meant to catch on in the hear, that person will. Oh, yes. oh. But at the same time, you ain't bringing no smoking ass to my house. Right. You're not bringing that over drinking party in spirit to my crib. Mm -hmm. You're not bringing that adultery spirit to my house. Mm -hmm. You see this? Um, because the scriptures tell us this. What else we got on there? So, and then you got Brother Moshe. He says it's hurt. It's hurtful and disappointing. Right. Just a lawyer. It says. It's a waste of time, and it's sad because you have to watch them go through what they, what they should need to, 
what they shouldn't need to if they only knew the truth. Just like a lot, of, it's, it's really sad when certain family members know the truth, been around the body, and now don't want to, to hear. They feel they're better by their self. It's a selfish mind state. Tomorrow, she says, I kind of see it as, I, as they hear it or they don't and just hope one day they'll care to listen. And that's facts. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the spirit, right? We hope optimistic mentality, right? We hope that, and it's the same prayer that Paul had. I hope that all Israel will be saved, oh. right? Mm-hmm. We want all our people to, to adhere, but we know that that's not the case according to Zechariah as well, right? It says that two-thirds of our people would do what? Die. They will die. So we already know that this is the beauty. This is the beauty of even being, and that was kind of the class that I was going to go into about prophecy. This is why we are next level than all the other nations. Why? Because we already know what's going to befall us. Yeah. Y'all see this? Uh, so Yahweh has already given us comfort, right? He's already given us the understanding of how to uh, um, look at what our people are going through. It's self-inflicted pain. I mean, why are you walking differently? Because you care. They don't walk differently. Why? They don't give a damn. Uh -uh. They love death. They love Satan. They love wickedness. So, like David said, I hate them that hate you. Right? I have to now understand that there has to be a separation. There has to be now, what do they call it? Border. Right, but it, 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 what it say? Uh, uh, a line is drawn in the sand. Oh, God. Right? <laughs> a line is now drawn in the sand. Give me God. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 13. God. Yeah, Second Thessalonians 3 and 13. And somebody give me, uh, what is that, Ephesians uh, 5? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, is that uh, compassion? Are you ignorant? Oh, yeah, give me that. No, hold that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's read this. Come on. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 13. Go ahead. But ye, brethren, yep. be not weary. Be what? Be not weary. So the scriptures is letting us know, be not weary. Go ahead. And well doing. And well doing. Paul is speaking to those in Thessalonica. Mm. Be not weary in trying to get your people to understand this truth. Be not weary in glorifying the most high in a demonic world. Be not weary in constantly being focused on the mission. Huh. Be not weary in casting off evil works. Right. Be not evil when you are. Uh, be not weary when your family does not want to adhere and follow righteousness. Don't be weary. Uh, don't get don't get uh, sluggish. Don't uh, get depressed. Uh, right. Don't get bent out of shape. Because we have other scriptures to show forth what we're meant to now pray. Right. Just for like uh, that non-believing husband, you have the believing up the believing wife. Pray for that man. Right? Just like the same thing for that husband to that wife. Pray for that wife. Come. So the Most High has given us ways on how to now um, Most High willing to treat ourselves or uh, that he entreats to our prayers, right? But let's read this again. Come on. Come. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 13. Go ahead. But ye, brethren, be not weary and well doing. Go ahead. And if any man right. obey not a word. If any man do what? Obey not a word. I want to try to hear this. If any man obeys not our words. If you don't obey the Bible, if they don't obey the Bible, this is what believers are supposed to do. I want y'all to really soak this up, brothers and sisters, because we're in the end days, and Negroes are going to do what they want to do. God. Demons are jumping around to see who they can get, who they can now influence, uh. who they now can feel sorry mm. for a person that don't care. Yeah. Trying to uh, pull down your heartstrings. Right. So just trying to pull down your heartstrings to pull you away. And they use they use they use what they know of you based on your relationship with them. Yep. And they and they point at that thing. Because they know that when they point, poke at that thing, that thing usually makes you sway their way. What is that? That uh the language. It's your comment whatever whatever conversation that y'all might have. Uh your emotions. Right? Uh, your connection with them. Right. They we're might, just family. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> hey, we're family. We're close. Right? We're in a relationship. I love you. I knew you before them. I knew you before anybody knew you. Right. I brought you up. I picked you up when you was low. 
When nobody used to talk to you, I was the one talking to you. They do whatever. Whatever it is, that they're going to manipulate the situation. They will manipulate the situation. Damn, when you, when, I remember I used to help you when you ain't, was on your feet, but then you know they're not, gonna do, they're not doing nothing good. <laughs> you talk, they're asking you for help. They don't really want the help. Right. They just want to, they just want you to baby them through it. And, and you know, the multi calls is babies in the spirit, but they want you to baby them through it and then they never grow up. Right. That's what they want. You just baby them. Just baby me, just take care of me, just pay the bills, just, just uh, uh, go do your Bible thing. I'm going to be in the house smoking my weed and doing my little thing, right, while you're doing whatever you got going on. Right. And the most high song is what? We can't be that way. Sure. We can't accept that behavior from somebody else. Because if we accept that behavior, then we're showing we don't believe in the most high. We're showing that the Bible is not true, then we're like, like Zion was just saying. We're enabling that behavior, and we're telling that person, it's okay to be a sinner. You can say you're a Hebrew Israelite and be a sinner. You can say you believe in God and you're a sinner, right? Don't worry about it. Gangsterism is okay. God loves you. That's how you're going to talk. It's like today, uh, who was it? Uh, it, was, it was Trey, right? Remember Trey? The girl said, uh, what, what the girl tell you today in the mall? She said, uh, God, 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 just say, just say Jesus Christ in your heart and, and God loves you. Yes. And you're saved. Yes. Yes. You're getting into the kingdom now. Come. Yeah, so like after she after she had that conversation, now he's just getting into the kingdom automatically. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that type of talk, that type of behavior is like just accepting sin. That's dangerous. Dangerous talk. That's manipulative behavior. That's big. and she don't even know what she's doing. She thinks she's saying a good thing. They take it uh, oh, basically it was some people in the mall. It's some girls and some young boys that walk through the mall and they go around asking for donations. And they're actually using it for good. They're actually going to give feed the homeless, give people uh kids things to be able to useful stuff, useful stuff. But they walk around the mall and these people are being used by an organization that, you know, um is pushing the most high but in the wrong way. And in the wrong spirit. And they just tell people you're gonna be saved. Just because they had that moment with them. And then now somebody walk around, you try to teach them the truth. They're like, I've been baptized. They don't want to hear a word. And sometimes that could be your family member. I've been baptized. Right? Your family hits your family member hits you like that. I say, I, I know God. Right. Everybody ain't gotta do it the way you're doing it. God. Right? I'm telling, I'm telling my cousin <laughs> about the truth. You know, and, and my brother, and he talks to my brother about me telling him the truth. And then my uh my brother tells him, you know, hey, you know, my nickname. Everybody ain't gotta do it the way baby do it, man. You know, everybody ain't gotta do it the way he do it. Right. You know, uh, <laughs> that, not knowing that baby is doing it the way the Bible says. Right. <laughs> baby doing it the way the Bible says. Right. Everybody ain't gonna do it the way you do it, but not knowing that, and he don't even know. He's just making random statements, don't even know what he's saying. Uh -huh. So, not knowing that's dangerous. Right. Our caption, they they avoiding. Uh -huh. They're avoiding that straight and narrow. God. They know that the life of Christ is a life of discipline. God. And they don't want to do what? Discipline themselves. God. They don't want to discipline that mouth. Mm. They don't want to discipline that belly. God. And most importantly, they don't want to discipline their soul. Right. They don't want to control their mind. They want to give themselves to all their impulses. And this is a problem because it's deadly. God. God. It is deadly. And not only that, there's people that's being now entangled with them. Right. You trying to help the wicked and look what's happening. You dying. Right. Right. You're getting caught up in now these uh these man these evil situations, man. Mm. Unfortunate evil situations that could have been avoided. Yeah. Right. God. So where we at? Oh, good. Second Thessalonians. Right. Chapter three, verse fourteen. I want this one. This this is the strategy. Y'all with me? God. Denzel, you with me? Come. Uh, Samaya, you with me? Uh, DeAndre? Come. Uh, Bree, you with me? You with me? Uh, uh, who? Yeah, Isaiah, you with me? Out. Come. There it is. Uriah. Come. All right. Daniel. God. Let's read. Come on. And if any man right obey not our word, I want y'all to hear this. If any man obeys what? Not our word. Not our word, which is speaking of the Bible, the things that were taught, brought out, edified upon, right? If they obey not that word, go ahead. By this epistle, go ahead. Note that man. It says, do what? Note that man. It says, note then. We have to now do what? We have to now identify a person that's being what? Contrary. Contrary. That's now against 
what's being taught. Because we have to understand what life is about. Life is about good against evil. There's no in between. Give me that Ecclesiasticus. There's no in between. Life against death. That's Ecclesiasticus. Uh, no, oh, no, it says mark for avoidance. Right. Yeah, to distinguish, is, and it's distinguishing it because it's trying to mark that person, showing that that's not the way. That's not what you want to accept. That's not what you want around. That's not what you're going to say, I'm okay. Uh, it, it, that's just, that's just Sally's. You know, Sally, Sally's upset sometimes. Sally, Sally doesn't like being in class sometimes. Sally doesn't like being around uh, people sometimes. Sally doesn't like to uh, help sometimes. Sally doesn't like to, you, you come up with excuses for the person. The most I say, no, you're supposed to note that behavior, right? Distinguish it, <laughs> make it clear, set it apart from the rest of the behavior, right? The, the righteous behavior, and say that's not the characteristic of the Bible. Huh. That's not somebody you want to be around, right? My 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 brother, my, that, that's my, that's my that's my red, but she's not she's not the standard right now. She's not the standard. You gotta go look for look up to the elder sisters, right? She gotta get on point, right? This 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 younger brother, he's new, he's just coming in. That's not the standard. You wanna be trying to mirror the teachers, right? The man should be teaching as the righteous example, right? Because that brother's still going through this process. So the most I say, note it, make it a, make a difference for me between the righteous so that what the person can know to stay away from danger. Exactly. Keep reading. Note that man. Come on. And have no company. Have what? No company. Have what? No company. Have what? Have no company. Have what? Uh, have no company. Have what? Have no company. What does company mean? Have no company with this person, man. Y'all gotta see this. Even that's your mom or dad. Come. They may have to get listen. They may have to get a phone call, man. Come. Right? Ooh, you calling me up? I can't come over. It's the Sabbath. Mm. That's why I love class. Class is always what? I can't do it. Nope. I have what? I have other responsibilities, man. Right. I've committed myself. I've dedicated myself. Mm. Now to what? To the body, to the word, to Christ. Right. I can't be there. I'm sorry. It says have no company with them. Y'all see this? Right. Right. It's not to say that they're just evil and wicked. No. The Most High is trying to do what? He's trying to separate you from their influence. Right. Right. That negative mind. That negative spirit that they have on them. Go ahead. And have no company Go ahead. with him. Go ahead. That he may be ashamed. Because that's how you teach him. That their actions is off. That's why, brothers and sisters, man, you gotta stand strong in this faith. Come. You gotta endure with what you believe in. Come. Y'all see this? Come. Why? It's because that's going to check our people to show them good from evil. That was the point. The most high gave us this knowledge, <coughs> gave us this wisdom to separate. He says we are a holy people, but how are we going to become holy if we're constantly amongst the filth? Right. And I'm not saying going out there to teach our people. I'm talking about in your everyday relaxing, coking and joking type of style life. Mm. You always want to be up on, like, they, they are friends. Right. Right? I give more time and dedication to the people of the world more than the people of the scriptures. Mm. More than men and women that are, that are said to be like my mind. The most I got a problem with that. Come. This is why he said, it says, uh, have no company with him that he may be ashamed. You may ask, well, man, well, what if what if the, the person's in the household? Keep on your path. Mm. Keep on your path. That individual shouldn't be holding you back for nothing. You got to show that person what? No, even, I know you want to mm. run down this pathway of death. I'm good. Yeah. Right. I'm going to keep following Christ. Come. And you continue to do what? Pray. And we're going to hit that scripture too, right? That Hebrews about having compassion and, and striving to keep teaching and being patient. But the Most High will, will remove that person. The Most High will remove a person that wants to be dead weight. Come. That doesn't want to receive the wisdom. And not only wisdom, but that doesn't want to receive safety. Mm. we got to understand that this knowledge and wisdom is a safe haven. This is what's supposed to keep you safe. Them that follow him and be underneath his wing, right? That's a song. You get that, right? Many scriptures. But it says, have no company with him that he may be ashamed. Finish that, verse 15. Sorry. Yep, got to hold it. I'm not finished. Go ahead. Count. Yes, count him not as any enemy. But y'all hear that? It says, count him not as a what? 
as an enemy. Count them not as an enemy. We don't look down upon people just because they're not accepting of the word. Y'all see this? Count them. No, it says count them not as an enemy. We understand that he's going through it. Maybe it's his. he's on his journey. Maybe he's on a journey, right, that he still has to go through some chastisement to really understand it. To really recognize the power of God and what the Most High was trying to do in bringing them to this knowledge. Mm-hmm. Maybe that person still has to go through their path. Huh. And maybe we just have to keep applying the fruits of the Spirit that the Most High told us. Maybe our actions might unlock their mind. Because right. we know the Scripture says it. When your ways please the Lord, it make it what? Your enemies at, at a peace with you. Or how much more now sparking, or as the Scripture says, it says uh, he, he'll stir up their spirit. Right. Most high stir that person's spirit to recognize, huh. to hear, because we also know it says he blinds them and he causes them to be deaf. So how much more taking that that uh, spirit of sleep off of it? Y'all see this? Huh. It says verse fifteen again. Yet count him not as an enemy. Go ahead, but admonish him as a brother. You see that? But admonish him as a brother. You're not disrespectful. You're still kind. Huh. Hey, I, hey, you think you come over here? Nah, bro. You know I can't come over there. You know what y'all are doing. Y'all be smoking over there. Like we just said it, right? Uh-huh. There's a brother that keeps inviting you to a lot of his performances. Yep. The brother's a genuine brother. Mm-hmm. Right? Genuine. Yeah, he, you know. Well, who's good? Nobody's good. Right. Right? But the brother is a decent man. Yeah. Right? You know, according to the worldly standard, we know according to the to the gospel, wicked, <laughs> right? It's just off. But we know what is that he keeps inviting. But we're not able to go over there. Why? We're not going in any type of vicinity where they got weed smoke right. in the building. Right. We're, not, we're not going with our friends is where weed smoke is at. No. Y'all see that? God. If it's outside on the street, that's, man, they got the right to do that. Huh? Mm-hmm. We're not going to go into a building filled with smoke. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? So what does that mean? Like, we can't go there. Why? Nah, you know we don't smoke. We got to stand, uh, 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 set a difference. God. Stand apart. Y'all see this? God. God. Brothers and sisters, we got to really understand this, man. It's not personal. It's only spiritual. And this is the battle that we're fighting against. This is the battle that you are fighting against that you have to understand. What side are you going to fight on? Are you going to fight on the godly or are you going to fight with the wicked? Which side? Choose a side because this is what life is about. Good against evil. Did you know that? There's no in between. Yes, a lot of our family members will die. But this is why we should be praying for them, just like Abraham prayed for the wicked, prayed for the Sodomites, right? Paul desired that all Israel might be saved, right? But what does the scripture say? Just to bring back to our memory of how the Most High has set this thing up that we're living in today. Everybody's not going to be righteous. Everybody's not going to do the right thing, and it's okay. They need to do that somewhere else. You got to now entertain that spirit somewhere else, not here, not where my kids are at. Right? Because we know according to Revelations that spirits jump like frogs. Mm. Right? That they need a host that we just went over. You yeah. went over the other day and bought that host. Uh, right? Yeah. Because the things that your family deal with, your friends deal with, you used to deal with. You used to have a problem with. Mm. Uh. So what are they trying to do? They're trying to seduce you because that's what the scriptures say. Right. There's what? Seducing spirits. Come on, man. You know, a lot of us think just because you got scriptures and you know King James was a black man. That ain't going to help you yeah. with spiritual battles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what you what should we be doing? Always being amongst what? The God. Always being amongst the strength. Let's read it. Where you at? Where you at? Ecclesiastes chapter 33, verse 14. Ecclesiastes 33 and verse 14 in the Apocrypha. To 15. Ecclesiastes 33 and verse 14. Let's read this. Come on. Good is set against evil. Y'all hear that? Sisters, do y'all understand that? Good is set against evil. Good is set against evil. Ain't no in between. There's no, there's no fence line with the most side. There, there's no, you know, like the scripture says, lukewarm. One, one foot on one side, the other foot on the other side. God. It's none of that. So what team do you want to be on? Who do you want to be amongst? When your house shy returns. What do you want to be known for? Building with the wicked? Huh? Plotting with the wicked? Partying with the wicked? 
Or do you want to be transforming yourself in righteousness with those that will be what? The sons and daughters of the Most High. The gods of the earth. Come on, man. One thing about Israel, man, you said it. We allow the manipulation of wicked individuals really affect us. We allow it. But that's why Christ brought a doctrine that was cutting people to pieces. Christ was bringing forth, bringing forth about what? That separation that he was going to cause. Yep. He already told us this. Uh, read where you at again. Verse 14. Good is set against evil. Right. Good is set against evil. Go ahead. And life against death. Life against death. Go ahead. So is the godly right. against the sinner. Do y'all hear this? Yeah. The godly is against the sinner. Why do you think we're always around each other? Especially if you're in the body, right? Brothers is constantly with each other, day in, day out, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day of the week. And I'm, I love it. I love it. I love it. Because that's what keeps me sharp. That's what keeps me safe, right? And that's how this plant's been watered. Being amongst what? Godly men. Huh? Monday. Monday? Oh, yep, seven days a week. Right? Yes. Seven days a week of nation building, uh, serving with your community. Good. Your, your, your brother and your sister and, and your kids. Right. The community of uh, Israelites. Right. Know, staying amongst your heritage and people that follow the same thing you follow, which is serving the Most High, but also serving His laws. So. Right. Keep us in order and structure. Here we go. You see that? A lot of benefits, man. And a, and a lot of us, we, we overlook that. No. We take it for granted, man. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm going to be by myself. Because well, you lazy. You lazy. Mm -hmm. Right? Or you got some demons on you that you want to go me uh, meditate with. Mm -hmm. You want to go muse upon. Mm -hmm. And now you back to the old you. Back to the porno. Right. Right? Back to the weed. Right? Back to masturbation. Why? Well, because you want to be by yourself. You see what happened to David when I mean, he didn't go to battle? Right, yeah. <laughs> we see what happened to David. I... Damn, they say he stayed back. Why do you think he said that? Mm. He was idle. A lot of brothers and sisters be idle, man. And what happens? You cleave to your life. Uh. You cleave right to your life. Maybe that's what you're going through? Well, kind of. Uh. Right, let, let him finish this real quick. But uh. he says, the, the sinners against the godly. There's only two sides, y'all. Right. Good and evil. I hope y'all understand this. God. It's either you on Jacob's side, which is Yasharala, or you and Esau. Mm. Let's, just, let's, let's make it like that. You and Esau and Shatan, Satan. Yeah. Spiritual counterpart. You and Satan. God or Satan? Mm. What side y'all on, man? Yahweh. Put a seven for Yahweh. God. Yahweh shine a six for Shatan. What side y'all on, man? Let's see, who on, let's see who on the chat, man. Put a seven for your house, You know what I'm saying? Call me out, Shirala. Death to the nations. And if you pay Esau, put a six up, man. If you love the white man, if you love confusion, if you love homosexuality, if you love weed smoke, if you love sodomy, uh, homosexuality, right? Uh, murdering. What else? Um, whoremongering. Right? Overeating. Gluttonous, put a six, man. Right, put a six down, man. Because that's what it really is. The Most High is making a difference. And this is why he constantly has what? He has us amongst each other. Uh, gathered together, oh nation not desired. Why do you think you're not desired in your used-to-be circles? Because your spirit's not the same. Because they got evil on them, Right? And, and Yahweh Shai said it. How can Satan cast out Satan? You're not Satan. You of the Most High. What you got, I? Precept. Come on. Ecclesiasticus chapter 13, verse 16. All right, Ecclesiasticus 13. Uh, that's true. Straight point. And verse 16, whatever you want. Okay. Ecclesiasticus chapter 13, verse 16. Go ahead. All flesh can sort it according to God. Go ahead. And a man will cleave to his life. Right. 
Yeah, y'all see that? Come. The, a man uh-huh. will cleave to his wife. Why'd you pull that? Um, because pretty much what you're going into is like, if you want to be of the world, and that's what you're into, right. then you'll be around that. It's, right. Uh, what's the word? Uh, birds of a feather flock, flock together. together. Right. Kind so... If you consider yourself to be Christ-like or you, you want to be in this truth, right. then you shouldn't be hanging around people who contrary to the right. most high, who don't want to get down with that. You love the streets. Kind. Kind. And then this next precept, I love this. Kind. It says, uh, what fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? Right. So the sinner with the God. Right. The reason why I like this is because growing up, my older brother, they used to literally call themselves the wolves. Mm. And they would go out, they'd rob you. Right. They'd hit you. They'd call you for some weed, some, some smoke. Right. And they'd <laughs> rob you. But I never was a part of it. Right. I was always the lamb. I yeah. was never mm. the one right with my spirit. And right. he knew that, so he didn't push me to do the evil. But right. I grew up around it. I know I know everything about a wolf. I, right. It just wasn't in, in my spirit to be that. Right. So. All praises. And, and, and we see, man, is that, again, the Most High is, is taking us out of the world. God. Right? God. The, the mo- there's one in the field. God. Right? The Most High is separate God. from clean, from the unclean. So who are you? Hmm. Right? Are you the clean or are you the unclean? What you got? Uh, precept. Um, Ephesians 4 and 22. So Ephesians 4 and 22 precept. Okay. What you got? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gird it up. That ye shall put off. Let, 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 let's wait here before everybody gets there. Ephesians 4 and 22. Right? Ephesians 4 and verse 22. Got another dagger. Huh. Right? What dagger you hold not? Go ahead. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. That ye shall put off, the con- off concerning the former conversation. The old old man, which is corrupt according to the the five the this, the the people people lust. Right. And yeah, yeah. Well, that, well, read that one more time. Tell me why you pulled that. Come on. That ye put off concerning the former conversation. Go ahead. The old man. Read. Which corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Right. Yeah, right. Because like. A little louder. If you ain't the old man no more, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to deal with the old, your old you, who you right. used to be. Because it's like, I don't want to talk about that no more. That's really not my thing, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about this word right here. If you want something to talk about, let's talk about that. Because all we doing is talking about lust. Right. Like, all, the, all the evil of the world is that we're trying to leave because God don't want us on it no more. So we're trying to change into the new man and cut off the old man. Right. There you go. Y'all see that? God. You know, because the Most High is, again, showing us he's making that difference. This is why we have the Spirit. This is why you wear the fringes. This is why you pray in Hebrew. This is why you're, you're learning Hebrew. Y'all see that? God. You want to finish that scripture? God. Go ahead. So he's jumping back to that Ecclesiastes 33, verse 15, to finish that. Go ahead. And the last precept of 14. Go ahead. And the sinner against the godly. Right. So look upon all the works of the Most High. Come on. And there are two and two, one against another. Right. Y'all see that? One against another. So what side are we on? Right? So not only does the Most High say, note that man, have no company with him. But what also does he say? 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Psalm chapter 1, verse 6. Right, right. That's a good scripture. Second Corinthians chapter six and verse fourteen. What else does the scripture say? What what else? What other advice does the knowledge give us? And I did not even say advice, right? What orders? God. These are orders. Right? This is instruction of what to do. God. But see, he said it was advice. I don't got to do it. Nah. Mm-hmm. What order? Right? Because again, the Most High said it. Right? He said it in Jeremiah ten and two. Go not after the way of the heathen. A lot of our people are loving this man, this this cage that we're in, as the scriptures say. Hmm. Right? All these spirits that's here in America, do as thou will. Shake it fast. Watch yourself. Show me what you're working with. That's the spirit of this world, man. They want to hold you out. They want you to do everything. Meanwhile, your life is what? 
is being destroyed little by little. Until what? Now you're talking to yourself. Mm. Right? Now you're uh, uh, emotionally un uh, uh, unstable. Mm. Your family, your friends that you thought was riding or dying for you, they done fled off because the money done dried up. Mm. Your vehicle broke. Now they can't get no ride no more. They ain't hitting your lineup. Because really, man, this world is what? All right, these people, and I was going to go into it just in the classes, they have no natural affection. There's no real care in the people of the world. They only care about what feeds their belly. They only care if you can give them some food and some weed and some drink and some heating. That's all they care. They got a vagabond spirit, man. And that's why we have to make them ashamed by their actions by not having company with them. Y'all see this? God. I'm not saying you got to talk to them the way I'm talking. Right. You just politely not getting out with you. I'm sorry. I'll be in church. You want to join me? What are they going to say? No. But you always everywhere they at. What does that say about you? How is, the how is the most high looking at you? Let's read this. Come on. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. So we're at 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Go ahead. Be ye not uh -huh. unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Y'all hear that? Uh -huh. Be ye not unequally yoked with unbelievers. Stop trying to be with unbelievers. Stop trying to work with unbelievers. We're not talking about your job. We're talking about on your free time. Stop trying to be all mingled up with them. The scripture says be ye not unequally yoked. Because y'all are not in the same yoke. Mm. That's why the Most High keeps giving us this understanding of stay away. Have no company. Right? God. God. Make that person ashamed. And all it is is just by your absence. Like, come on, think about it. If you had a wanted person, they're wanted for murder, and they talk about, can I come on over here? Can I come on over here? And uh, rest my head. What you gonna say? Hell no. I'm gonna get messed up. Well, we should have that same outlook with the Most High because it's the same consequence. Finish that. Come on. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Right. Go ahead. And what communion have light with darkness? Y'all hear that? What communion have light with darkness? And again, I'm gonna say this, y'all. I, I know. This is a hard subject for a lot of brothers and sisters. But if you love the Most High, if you love Christ, you will now be an example of what it is to stand up for righteousness. God. The scripture says, who will stand up against the evildoer? God. Who's going to now be bold to tell a person no? God. You're, if you want to come over, you can't do A, B, C, or D. Like, like you, like because my 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 cousin or family member is homosexual, I gotta let him in the house. Man, keep them spirits outside the house. God, I teach you somewhere else to talk. You're not coming around to children like that right. with your spouse, right. so-called lover. Right. And especially we know it's demonic. Man, please, they're not gonna make me feel bad about uh, their wickedness. You gotta put them on blast, man. Y'all understand this? Come on. Read it again. Come on. Be ye not unequally yoked together. Be ye not unequally yoked together. Go ahead. With unbelief. Does anybody have any questions so far we've just been touching on? Anybody? Any specifics? Anybody got some specific questions in regards about just with the ungodly, how to deal with the ungodly? Because the wisdom, the Bible gives us wisdom on how to deal with it. See, a lot of us are trying to make things up as we go, and that's the problem. We're not understanding the standard. That the Most High requires us to live by when we say that we're believers. Huh. We're followers of Christ. Well, what Christ is? Yes, he was with the public as kind, with the disciples, hmm. doing the work and left. He wasn't just partying and mingling with these people. Hmm. He did his job, he left the influence, and he left. Y'all see that? Huh. Huh. He wasn't now kicking it with him. He was at the movies with him now. You know? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bring you around the brothers, man. Come on over here, man. This, you know, the disciples over here chilling. I'm gonna bring you over here with them. Stand no. though. They heard the sermon and left. Mm. You don't see that? God, God. It says, "Be not unequally yoked with unbelievers." This is a hard scripture for a lot of people to swallow. 
But why is he saying this? Why is Paul giving us this understanding? Be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. Well, you know why? The Most High has a problem with it. When we are yoked with unbelievers. When we are around unbelievers. Go to James 4 and 4. I got I to gotta kind of nail this into the, into the, into the, into the board. Huh? Got to nail this into the board. Because this has been our downfall through all the generations of our people, man. Influence. Curiosity. We always wanted to be amongst the wicked. We always wanted to be amongst the nations. Always wanted to do things like how they did it. Like Asaph said, he almost slipped at the prosperity of the wicked. Asaph said, I almost slipped at the prosperity of the wicked. Well, what was it that got your attention that they were doing? The rioting. They don't have to control themselves. They don't have to discipline themselves. They seem to have fun. They're not having no fun because when they go home, God. they're playing chess with demons. God. You know, and that's, they're not even, it's checkers. They playing checkers with demons in their head, man. Yeah. Really going back and forth. Man, I should do that. Man, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. See, but I'm gonna do this. And then when they get around you, they look sane. Come on, man. That's the illusion. The illusion of inclusion, man. Let's read this. Come on. James chapter four, verse four. James four and verse four. Go ahead. Ye adulterers and adulterous sins, know ye not that the fellowship of the world is enmity with God, whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world, right, is the enemy of God. Y'all hear that? A friend of the world means that you give more of your time to the ungodly than you do to the most high's program. You give your spirit, you're making more phone calls to the wicked than you do to the righteous. You seem to communicate and party with those that are outside of the body, more than those that the Most High now brought you amongst to keep you safe. If you're doing this, the scripture says you're an enemy of God. I did not say it. The Bible is bringing out plainly and clear. Read it again. Ye adulterers and adulterous sins, know ye not that the fellowship of the world right. is enmity with God. It says the fellowship of the world is what? Enmity. 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 Y'all see that? Uh, enmity. And this is why our people are in distress. And I get it. A lot of us feel a certain way. We feel sad. We feel, man, they just need a helping hand. Well, you can't give them a helping hand because they don't want it. If the Most High reaches his hand out and they still deny it, what you going to do? All you can do is be what? That example of what a righteous life looks like. For some reason, every time they look at you, your life is together. Uh, They'll eventually, if, they, if they're hurting bad enough, mm -hmm. if their spirit is locked into the most high, right, they will do what? Man, listen, I need help, please. Let me, I'm coming to class with you. That's what they're going to, they're going to start speaking some language like that. I'm coming to class. You see that? Uh, our, I, I'm trying to tell you, our people won't understand until they go through it. And a lot of us are doing what? You're trying to keep them up. Right? You're trying to uh, uh, enable them. Right? You're trying to take them away from the pain. Nah, they need to feel that pain. Because the Most High is the pain. And he said he was going to give it to our people. Finish this, and we're going to go to uh, Leviticus 26. You can drop that out. Let's read it. Come on. Whosoever, therefore, right? will be a friend of the world. Who will be a friend of the world. Y'all with me? Come on. See, y'all got the Most High is a jealous God. Why do you think we're out here uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not Sunday, Monday, mm. teaching, doing the videos, classes. We got classes for days. Yeah. We got quite a job dropping the, the elder sister hot fire. We got a uh, car out there dropping Daniel 7. Time. Right? Yeah. San Antonio dropping bars. Focus on concentration. Constantly. Yeah. Like, come on, all right? Our people don't want to hear that. They want to hear smooth words. They want to hear past the blunt. They want to hear past the cabassier. Everybody sing it now. Past the cabassier. Past the cabassier. It's the same old lifestyle. Oh same two step. Yeah. Drink in your two step, but your life still looks like it's been misstep. Oh your life has been just, it's, it's off. It's off kilter, man. Negative. 
you can't make a positive. A negative can't, and we sitting back like, man, I wish you could just get me too, but yeah. they're not going to learn until like a person go to prison. Oh, I'm like, I got to change my life up. Uh, it take a man to go all the way to prison, but he was told <laughs> not to do this and do that. Yeah. And now he got to get locked up for years just to do what? Finally change. Man. It's a shame, man. Y'all see this? Come on. You going to say something? Read, come on. A friend of the world right. is the enemy of God. I want y'all to hear that. It says a friend of the world is what? Enemy of God. Y'all see that? And this is why, and this is why the most high put this threat out too. Check this out. The most high put this threat out. I'm gonna show you. Right? I'm gonna show you. Go to uh what is that? We're gonna go to um we are gonna go. I think it's, is it on Isaiah? Mm -hmm. Let me see. We're gonna go to uh I think it's Isaiah. Give me that Isaiah. What are Isaiah? I mean, just a minute. Yeah, give me that one. Yep. Give me that one. Isaiah 13, 15. There we go. Yeah, give me that one real quick. Isaiah 13 and verse 15. I do an onslaught, man. Bro, it's the time. It, listen, brothers and sisters are dying. You better wake up. Come on. Because your life depends on it. The most I said, slay utterly old and young. He don't care what side are you on. Are you going to be on his side when your house shot returns or when the death angels are sent out? Or are you going to be on the side of the wicked? Y'all think it's a game to your ass get burnt. To you taking another dirt nap. We've been to funerals out here, man. Yeah. Been to funerals. And I'm talking about funerals of brothers that have fringes on. I'm talking about Kumi Yashara, the Passover. Uh -huh. Brothers that brought other brothers to the truth. And they're dying in the worst way. Yeah. And we think the scriptures ain't real. Let's read it. I'm going to show you something. Come on. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 15. Isaiah. Or it's like 13, verse right. 15. Isaiah 13 and verse 15. Right? Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. Go ahead. Every one that is found shall be thrust through. Right, go and, ahead. And every one okay. uh -huh. that is joined unto death right. shall fall by the sword. Y'all hear that? Come. Let me see. That was uh, Isaiah 13? 13, 15. Right. Right. Every one. <coughs> Where are we at? That's 13. Right. And obviously we know, check this out. Go to verse 11. I want, I want y'all to hear this. Gonna, but this. This chapter 13 is nasty. Chapter 13 is speaking of who? It's speaking of Babylon. It's speaking about this wicked society that we live in. It's speaking about America. It's speaking about you Trump supporters. <laughs> it's speaking about you damn Bush supporters, man. You want to see, I'm talking about black folks that want to trust in the white man's hand. Right? Let's read this. Come on. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. Go ahead. And I will punish And I will what? And I will punish And I will do what? And I will punish This is what we're seeing now, punishment. We're seeing punishment yeah. from our people. Or punishment being upon our people. Go ahead. Yeah. The world. Right. For their eating. Y'all hear that? See, see, a lot of our family members will do what? They're going to be punished for their evil. Oh. Huh? Is it really worth it? Mm -hmm. Pain that you want to receive because of your, uh, what do they call it? No, no, no. Be, be, because of your uh, accessory. Yeah, right? Accessory, but no. It's, uh, what else? Huh? No, 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 no. But your connection with these people. Yeah, your association. Family ties. Yeah, mob ties, family ties. It, you know, it's deep in blood. Blood. Your blood gonna get you killed. Your cousin, your mama, your daddy gonna get you killed. And if you really understood, you will lean upon the Most High's wisdom and separate yourself. That's where the respect comes from. That's where the respect comes in. They'll recognize that day. My life is boo boo. But as every time you're around them, you justify their actions. Every time you're around them, you justify their actions. And the Most High says, you're an abomination because you do that. Yeah. It says, they that justify the wicked 
are an abomination. Justifying the wicked actions is being amongst them while they do the wickedness. You're never checking them. You're never telling them the wrong doing. You're not doing the Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud and spare not. Show my people their transgressions. You're doing what? You want to hold back and, you know, just to get a few laughs off while they're gendering strife and destruction. Right? Ah, you know the sad part about it is, even again, the class that I was going into, it kind of goes back to what Kwadazap was going over yesterday, and Yashakar brought it out about this woman and how she left her child for like 12 days by herself. But that's, the, that's our people, though. Like, they have no mind. They don't care about anybody except themselves. And this is why the Most High has a controversy with our people. Because there is no judgment. Everybody wants to straddle the line, and I want to I wanna be mis friends with everybody. I don't want to make enemies. I don't want to be a friend. Machiavelli, right? The prince. You got to make the best decision. Our people don't even know what decision to make, and you're killing yourself by that. You're now polluting your own family due to your connection with demons. And this is why the Most High said, you will be touched too. The warning's out, man. Because that's the point we're here to warn. Y'all tripping, man. I don't seen too many horrible deaths. Let's finish it back. Read this one more time. Read verse 11. Come on. Verse 11. Right. And I will punish the world. Come on. For their evil. World. There's no exclusion. The Most High will kill your son. Will kill your daughter. Will kill your baby. He'll kill anything around you just to get to you. If he wants you. I told a brother in Houston, if the most I want you, he'll drag you through the mud. And did he not? Did he not? He did. <laughs> he did. He's going to punish the world. Go ahead. And the wicked. Right? For their iniquity. Iniquity means sin. Right? Iniquity means sin. You still allow cigarette smoke at your house. I'll be damned. You still, are, you still allow a pill popping at your house. Man, listen, you better check something. Mm -mm. You better check that spirit because you're bringing death spirits around you. Don't even know it. The scripture says a man has many trains, even at Ecclesiastes. You're bringing spirits in your house, and that's why your children are acting out. That's why your children are jumping like they damn Freddy the, Kru Freddy the, the Kruger. God. All Freddy Kruger, uh, what's the dude uh, with the truck with the bus? Um, nah, man, the little demon, you know, what's the, Jeepers Creepers, your damn daughter and, and son moving like Jeepers Creepers, mm. you scared, because there's spirits around, most I said, I'm going to kill the wicked, go ahead, and I will cause the arrogancy, I will do what, cause the arrogancy, a lot of our people are arrogant, they don't want to listen, they're prideful, they're cocky, they think there's no harm going to come, come to them, the brother that we did a report on, we, we have an investigation team. Mm. We have a crimes investigation. <laughs> no, we got an investigation team. You know what the brother said? He said, I'm going to be out here mm. until my clock runs out. Uh. Basically, he said he was going to be on the block selling his little work, right? Selling his drugs until he dies. A month later, he died. Uh. The Most High is ceasing this arrogancy, this arrogant attitude that you think the Most High won't come and get you. The scripture says the Most High will not be mocked. God, God. What a man soweth, his ass gonna get. God, God. I gotta say it just like that so you can feel it. God. He will get it. Finish this, huh? And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to right? cease. I will do what? Cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Go ahead. It will lay low the haughtiness Come on. of the terror. Of the terror. Do you see that? But why are we trying to defend the wicked from being laid low? Let them lay low. That's where they will correct themselves. What not that how it happened to you? A lot of brothers and sisters had to go through the mud to recognize and appreciate the spirit of the Most High. Yeah. Stop trying to baby your family members, man, mm. and let them receive their due punishment mm -hmm. or their due reward, whatever it might be, yeah. for them to wake up. But we keep pacifying their wickedness 
by our, uh, by our presence amongst them. And you're doing what? You're trimming yourself for their love. And now you got what? The most high looking at you like what? You an enemy now. Yeah. Read. That's it. No, no, that ain't on that. Keep reading down. Verse 12. Oh, read down, brother. I, I will make a man right? more precious than fine gold. This is what he's making us as. I ain't never seen gold in a library. Separation, like it's in a museum or somewhere. Somewhere in somebody's vault. Mm. Separated, right? God. Go ahead. Even a man uh -huh. in the golden wedge of Ophir. Come on. Therefore, I will shake the heaven. Read. And the earth shall remove out of her place. Come on. And the wrath of the Lord of hosts. Read. And in the day of his vengeance. Come of, on. Of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chase rope. Right. And as a sheep that no man taketh up. Come on. They shall every man turn to his own place. Read. And, and flee every one. Into its own land. Come on. Every one that is found shall be thrust through. Go ahead. And every one that is joined unto them. Y'all hear that? Everyone that's joined unto them, unto the wicked. You want to protect, you want to be right along with them? Go ahead. Shall fall by the sword. Shall do what? Fall by the sword. Shall fall by the sword. Why do you think that Israel is being plagued right now? Why do you think Israel is being plagued right now? Because the most highest punishment is coming out upon the house of of Jacob in the house of Israel, or house of Judah, house of uh, Israel, northern southern kingdom. Yeah. Go ahead. Their children, right, also shall be dashed to pieces. Y'all hear that? Their what? Children also shall be dashed to pieces. That's what I'm at, but just showing what is that if we want to now join ourselves to the wicked, the Most High said we're going to be thrust through. Y'all see this? Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you why though. I, let me. What, what are you holding? Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 29. Just hit that real quick because we did, I did quote it. Go ahead. Bring not every man bring, into thy house. Bring what? Bring not every man into thy house. I want y'all to hear this. The scripture says, bring not every man into your house. Bring not just anybody into your house. Who do you have in your house? Who do you allow just to slide through on any occasion? They don't even have to call to come through. Mm. Is it Christ? Yeah. Is it a godly man? Is it a priest? Is it a sister? Is it somebody that's bringing a, a good spirits with them? Or is it somebody that's now bringing corruption, deceit, lying, wickedness, and you letting that settle right in your crib? Read it again. Come on. Bring not every man. Negroes think they're going to outsmart the most high because we want the love of others. And unfortunately, right, by us doing that, we're destroying and condemning our own selves because we're showing the most high what? We're showing the most high that we rather dwell with wicked individuals than be amongst the God. Yeah. Let's read. Come on. Bring not every man right. into thy house. Bring not every man into your house. Come on. For the deceitful man. For the what? For the deceitful man. Because those that are locked into wickedness, brothers and sisters that are contrary to the most high, they're deceitful. You don't know their intentions. You may have good intentions. You may just want to kick it and chill. But this is what caused our people, right, to be downtrodden. Niggas don't want to listen, man. Mm. What you got, Danny? Hold that, hold that. Read. For the deceitful man. Go ahead. Have many trains. Have many what? Have many trains. It says have many trains. What y'all think? Choo-choo train? Choo-choo. This ain't talking about no choo-choo train. This is talking about what? Check this out. When you go down into the definition of train. When you go down into the definition of train, check this out. It says, uh, where are we at? It says, uh, let me do train, my apologies, with an S. Uh, let me do this train, right? It says, uh, read that one more time, Mike. Bring not every man into thy house. Go ahead. For the deceitful man have many trains. The deceitful man have many trains. Right? And I was trying to get it says spirits. This might be in a different. Let me see. Check this out. This man has many what? Tra Go ahead. Trains. Trains. 
right? It says, uh, man, I'm trying to figure out where, where I found that definition at. I think it was the, oh, give me that one too. Give me the, uh, yeah, give the other that one. Right? Many trains, many spirits. Y'all see this? God. God. We gotta be mindful, man. What do you want influencing you? What do you want influencing your family? But more importantly, how do you want the most high to look at you? Y'all see this? God. Where are we at? Man, it's already, oh, goodness gracious. Right, good scripture, Moshe. Whosoever walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Come on now. True negus, right? I love that. I love that it no longer that old man and new man you're becoming is a light to the world. To brother Daniel from your brother Derek. Who's that? That's oh, that's your brother. Hey, shalom, Derek. Right? Yeah. Got Kim. See, that that's the that's the connection. This is now the fellowship that should be going on, man. God. Right? The fellowship in the word of the most high. The fellowship being in that same spirit. Iron sharpened of iron. Right? Sin can't sharpen no sword. Hmm. Y'all see this? God. But but again, why, why are we going over this, man? Because, it, it, and mind you, it wasn't the class, but we really have to understand what's happening in these last days. The most high is separating the sheep from the goat. He's separating the clean from the unclean. He's making a separation. And this is why we got to choose this day who will serve. You, I think you quoted it, uh, Loria. Choose this day who you will serve. Uh-huh. Y'all see this? Uh-huh. Um, give me that scripture that, that I asked for. Um, you love his mother or father. Matthew. Give me that. Matthew 10? 10. 10 and 37. Yeah, so Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 10, verse 7. Bro, hold on real quick. Where, where did Derek say at? Derek, where are you? Derek, shout out real quick. Where are you from? Huh? Derek, the true Negus. Right? We got some good classes coming forth about the Neguses, mm. about true royalty. Right? And that's another thing. A lot of our people don't know where we come from. And this is why we act like slaves. This is why we act like slaves. The, I'm, I'm gonna say this point real quick. Uh, the brother uh, out of uh, the brother, you, you finally got it. Uh, yeah. Told you. Hold on. I'm gonna show you what this definition was. Train. I'm gonna jump back to my thought. What do you got for train? Train. Uh huh. To draw from act to act. Right. By persuasion or promise. Look at that. To entice. Look at that. To allure. To draw. To break. Tame or accustomed to draw. Look at this. A man has many what? Spirits. This uh, sounds like spirits. Uh, yeah. su- su- seduction. You're being seduced. Man. To be like what? The wicked. They prey on us. They prey on us. Y'all see this? God. But going back to the point is that the brother uh, Zaquan, Elder Zaquan, brought out a point. Mm. I think, who said it to me? You said it? One, I think maybe you, you're right, but he, I remember he said it in the Cancun video that he was just in. Mm. He said, when we came off the slave ship, mm. there was no colleges. There was no institutions to now develop our skills. Yes. Oh, wow. So where do we have the skills at to come here and cultivate the land, to make inventions, to do all these great things? Man. It was already in us. Nah. It was in our spirit. Nah. But because we're in our enemy's land, they're trying to cause us to not be a people. And that's why they give you Gorilla Glow, Gorilla Glue. God. That's why they give you Dusty Red. God. That's why they give you No Diddy. Right? Or Dukiani. Dukiani. Mm. That's why they give you this junk and this, and this madness. So that we're not living to our potential. And for us to now justify the individuals that are lacking in wisdom and understanding their lifestyle, justifying it by being amongst them and agreeing, you're doing them a disservice, man. And not bringing them back to who we really are. Y'all see this? When you watch a lot of these shows, and again, I'm not trying to be um, 
biased to a lot of our brothers and sisters that are on lower level, right? And we're all, I mean, look, the Lord is blessed. I ain't going to say I'm broke. The Lord blesses. You know what I mean? But when you look at a lot of these, these shows, you see the separation between the nobility mm -hmm. and the common man. That was for a reason. Mm -hmm. But the Most High is doing that same thing spiritually. Mm -hmm. The separation from the spiritual, mm -hmm. from the wicked. We go out and teach, and we do what? We go back to our houses, our respective areas, our bodies, our congregations. Y'all see that? God. Until we do what? Keep fishing them in. We don't caught a fish. You're going back. You ain't living at the lake. You fish at the lake. And you bring the fish back. Y'all see this? Uh. So that should be our mentality, our mind now in dealing with what? The world. It's a cold place that we live in, y'all. But a lot of us have been comfortable here, and that's the problem. Mm. We think that this going to last forever. Y'all see that? Uh. But the Most High is bringing us back to our nobility, where we come from, where we derive from. The scripture says that kings mm. will come out of our loins. Rulers will come out of the loins of Jacob. That means the kings of the earth, going all the way back to the Byzantine Empire, going all the way back to the Dark Ages, where we didn't act the way that we do today. We actually had some type of decency. In my view, it was always, you know, criminals and foolish individuals. We were on a whole different level, right? This is why Christ is making this separation. Where we at? I where are we at? Come on. Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. Right. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 37. Read verse 34. Come on. And read that. Matthew, Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Go ahead. Think not that I have come in to, to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace. Right. But a sword. Y'all hear that? The Most High comes for, yeah, how much High comes to send what? A sword. Huh. Fighting. Bloodshed. Division. Where do we get this spirit of everybody's okay? Right? Everybody's on the 18th. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. That person has to learn the hard way. We need to get to Leviticus 26. Bro. Right? To really understand why they're even going through what they're going through. But let's read this. Come on. Matthew chapter 10, verse 35. Go ahead. For I have come to set man right. at violence against his father. It says what? I have come to set man at violence against his father. The Most High, who Yahweh Shai is saying, he came to set man at variance with his father. This is why a lot of men have the truth and your fathers do not. Mm. This is why you're willing to submit to the knowledge and the wisdom of the Most High, and your fathers do not. Because the Most High is trying to see and prove you. Are you going to gravitate towards the world and their care? Or are you going to now gravitate and lock in to my spirit, where I'm leading you? And that's the problem. Brothers and sisters, you really think you know your path. You know your way. You know how to live life. Uh-uh. The Most High has brought you. The Most High has brought you on a journey that you know not the way your path is going to be. But he does give us instructions on the way of how to deal. Right? How to treat brothers and sisters. What mind to be in. This is now war that we're involved with. Spiritual war. And if you're not careful, you're going to be taken. You're going to be taken. God. And the cool part about it, man, I wish we'll, we'll, we'll hit this class after Passover, I guess. Right? Because the Most High will give you to that mind. He'll give you to that mind that you keep desiring. If you want to be with what? The world. If you want to continue to fight against the wisdom and knowledge, the Most High will give you to it. That's a scary place to be. It says he will set delusions on you. We'll get a, we'll get a taste of it. I was a little bit late getting on. I'm going to hit a few scriptures. Let's read. Come on. And the daughter. And the what? And the daughter. Read. Against her mother. Come on. And the daughter. And the daughter against her mother-in-law. Go ahead. Her And a man foe shall be of them of his own household. Y'all hear that? Your enemies, your foes, those that will be contrary, is going to be our family members. 
Because the Most High is trying to prove what's in your mind, what's in your thoughts. Who do you love? God. Like Tupac said it the best. Who do you believe in? Huh? You believe in the Most High in his word? Or you steady believe in those deceitful words of the world? Come on over, you can kick it. How many relationships have we just, just been in, man, that just been awkward? Why? Because of deceitful tongues. The world is like this, man. They want to draw you away. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 37. Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. Go ahead. He that loveth father or mother more than me, uh -huh. I am not worthy, is not worthy of me. Y'all hear that? What does that mean? I'm giving my attention and dedication to my family more than to the most high. Let me give you a little bit more specifics. I'd rather go chill with family in the streets in the hood than be in class. I'd rather call up the wicked and, count, and counsel with them rather than counsel with godly men and women. Mm. Every, every time I'm in class, every time I'm amongst the body, I want to separate myself because I don't feel like I'm a part of them. Right? Well, why? Why do you feel like that? Because you haven't submitted yourself to Christ to understand. You got to get to know people. The scripture says, know those that labor amongst you. To know is the action. Ah. You got to now communicate. You have to be proactive to get to know somebody. Rather than thinking it's naturally just going to come about and sisters are going to know each other. No, sisters got to be amongst each other. Offenses have to now come. Offenses will come. For now, sisters, to work out, right? Apply, work out the issue, but applying the wisdom and how to work it out, right? To even recognize, man, sisters didn't even mean that how you thought it was coming, right? But what are we doing? We're wasting time with people that don't even care about the book. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Christ is saying, this is red letter. Is it red letter in your Bible? Yeah. Oh. It's a hard pill to swallow. But it's really not, though. Because we still have hope. Right? We still have hope that our family members will make it. You should be praying day in and day out. Open up the ears of the deaf. Open up the eyes of the blind. Have mercy upon our people. Forgive us of our transgression. You should be praying for that. Instead of trying to do what? Facilitate their foolishness. Let's read. And he that loves son right. or daughter Come on. more than me Read. is not worthy of me. Read. And he that taketh not his cross and follow and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Right, y'all see that? Ah, come on, man. Listen, I'm gonna say this for a lot of brothers and sisters. I, I get it. This is a new life. This is a new lifestyle. And this is why you have to trust the process. This is why we have to trust and believe on the scriptures and the instructions. It's telling us now how to deal with the people of the world, our family members. You got to counsel. You got to make sure you're doing things the right way because you're on a journey that you don't know about. This is new. You want me to prove it? Go to Isaiah. We'll prove it. Go to Isaiah real quick. Let me prove this about you're on a journey that the Most High requires faith. He requires you to have a hope and a desire that what? That is going to end beautifully. But that means that our mind has to constantly be upon His ways. We got to be mindful of His laws. Go to uh, Isaiah. We are at Isaiah chapter. Go to Isaiah. Give me one second. Let me get this. Isaiah chapter. It is forty. Forty-two and verse sixteen. Isaiah forty-two and verse sixteen. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 16. The Most High wants us to receive the kingdom. 
But there's a certain path we have to take. Yes. Let's go on to this um, Hebrews 5 and 10, 5 and 6. You can drop that. You can drop that. Let's, let's hit the scripture real quick. Isaiah 42 and verse 16. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 16. Is everybody there? Uh -huh. Go ahead. And I will bring the blind by a way that they know not. I want you to hear this. We were once blind. We were once not under the influence of the Most High. We were under the influence of the world. God. We cared for the things of the world. We had our own aspirations. We had our own goals. We had our own man projected, you know, where I want to be in two, 10 years. You know how they ask you, well, where do you think you're going to be at in 10 years? Right? Shoot, a lot of us didn't know where we're going to be at next week. Okay. Right? But the scripture says, read it again. And I, sorry, and I will bring the blind by a way that they know not. I will, be, I will bring the blind by a way that they know not. Go ahead. I will leave them in paths that they have not known. So what does that mean? That means that a lot of us have to do what? Give up the control. Everybody has to give up control yeah. to walk this path. Because there are ways that we don't know. And that's even how to live life. Right? Our mind had to be redeveloped. We have to be re-instructed on how to treat people that were contrary to the gospel. Yeah. Right? We can't come into the truth with a worldly mind. Yeah. Right? Everybody's my friend and you know, I, no. No, no, no. That's not what the most high is doing here. He's checking everybody. Y'all see this? Yeah. Everybody is being proven. Yeah. Are you willing to follow me? Are you going to do what I tell you to do on this path? Or are you going to continue to do what? Your will. Right? Your will, which is sin. Right? That's why the scripture says, let, uh, says uh, set not your will to sin. Be mindful of the Lord all our days. God. That's Tobit, 4 and 5. We're supposed to be mindful of God. Mindful of what the word says to keep us safe. Go ahead. I will make darkness light. Go ahead. Before them. Go ahead. And crooked things straight. Go ahead. These things I will do unto them. Go ahead. And not forsake them. The Most High said he will make things in our life straight that are crooked. If we do what? Keep applying the wisdom. Lock into his way. Y'all see this? Come on. But unfortunately, our people do what? They want to walk their way. And this is why there's so much pain with our people. And the most high said, you got to let them be. Have no company. Because they have to learn too. Last scripture. Go to uh, Leviticus 26. I mean, there's many we could have went to. Go to Leviticus 26. There's many we could have went to. Leviticus 26 is also reinforcing. Well, it is the curses. Right? In the blessing. Leviticus 26. And we can go to Leviticus chapter 26. You can start at verse uh, start at verse 14. Leviticus chapter 26. Oh, hold on one second. It's, there's a wording here that I want. It says uh, contrary. Yeah. Uh, Leviticus 26 and verse 14. Right. It says it multiple times in here. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah, let's read that 26. Or <laughs> um, I mean, it's all there. You can read that. Read verse 24. And then we're going to jump up. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 24. Mm -hmm. It's all through there, right? It's like blunt. Ah, <laughs> but this is what our people want, don't understand. Mm -hmm. Right? And us facilitating, enabling their wickedness, mm -hmm. right? It, it's inevitable, unfortunately. Yeah. It's inevitable yeah. for a lot of our people. 
Okay. You no, know, it was crazy. It was uh, this 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 young girl didn't know what she was saying, and she was saying it in an improper way, in an improper right. balance. What's that? But it was like uh, just like you know, it's um, you know, like the scripture just being blunt. She was she was basically saying how like uh, she was basically saying how like everybody don't deserve to be you. you uh, I was like, man, you gotta you gotta turn over um a new leaf, man. You can't be, you can't be chipping off and talking to people like that. Mm. And she was like, everybody don't deserve to be talked nice to. Right, right. And you know, she's saying it from just being a rude, not caring about helping and trying to nurture, like like the most high trying to do that. He's being blunt to a point. She's not being blunt to a point. She's just being rude. And um, but she was what she was the way she was saying in, in context is it's applied to what the most high, the way the most high doing. Right. It was it was actually on point. <laughs> she was saying everybody don't deserve to be talked nice to because some people they don't care. Right. They don't care. They want to make sure they, they put their influence on you mm. and 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 push their narrative yep. and, and make sure that you hear what they say and every time you tell them about what you got to say, they don't want to hear. Yep. You know, so what she was saying was on point if she was looking at it from a biblical standpoint. Right. 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 Gotta separate. Time. Right? I'm sorry, Pops, you're not smoking cigarettes. Mm-hmm. You're not smoking black and miles in the house. You ain't coming to my house cooking pork. I'll be damned. Right. You ain't cooking no 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 crawfish. Mm-hmm. There's no crawfish bros in my house. There's no there's no calamari with ranch, mm-hmm. fried calamari with ranch. Mm-hmm. That ain't going down. Nah. None of that lamb back. I mean none of that uh, pork back. Mm-hmm. Right? Don't even let it pass the threshold. Yeah. You see that? Don't bring that up in this house, man. I don't want the Lord to think I'm justifying the wicked lie. It says it. Psalms 96 and verse 14. Who will stand up against the evildoer? Who's going to be bold enough? Because that time will come. That time will come. That what? People are going to try to hurt us, I, because we're standing up for righteousness. It's the practice time now to get your strength up. It's the practice time now to get your strength up spiritually. They're going to ask you, since you want that pork sandwich, or are you going to jail? You want a pork sandwich or jail? I guess you're going to lock me up today. Uh, right? You never know, though. Yeah. The person that you thought was with you would be like, man, give me a pork sandwich. <laughs> I can't go to jail. Oh, right, right. I ain't fit for jail, y'all. Yeah. I ain't fit for jail. Right? Come on now. The most high is proving us now. Right? What are we going to agree with? What is our spirit gravitating towards? Right? But this is what the most high say gravitate towards to the wicked. Let's read. Come on. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 24. Come on. Then will I also walk contrary unto you. Now you'll read verse 21. 21. Verse 21. Go ahead. And if ye walk contrary unto me. If you do what? Walk contrary unto me. If you walk opposite. If you were, if you walk, uh, um, um, give me the definition of contrary. Contrary. Right? Contrary toward the law, the commandments. What's going to happen? Go ahead. And will not hearken unto me. Will not listen to the teachers, to the prophets, to the ministers, to the sisters. You don't want to listen to any sound influence. Go ahead. Sound, Sound reasoning. Go ahead. I will bring seven times more plagues unto you Y'all hear that? according to your sins. Our people will get plagues, and this is what the class was going to actually go into today. It was about the plagues that the Most High prophesied that was going to be on Israel. Mm. And we were going to go into when our people were eating their own kids. The Most High had to get to Israel for the, to make us understand he caused us to be so hungry that we ate our children in the siege. We'll get that next class, right? That's a preview. Well, Ty's not playing, man. Mm. You want to walk around and make it, you know, you still trying to be friendly with the wicked. You tripping. Mm-hmm. Well, Ty smashed you up with an 18-wheeler mm. and then talk to you when you get to the third. Mm. Have you drag, drag you to the third, man. Some people think it's a game. He said, I will do what? Read it loud and proud, huh? I will bring seven times more plagues onto you. 
I, I don't know about you. I'm scared of that. I respect hearing this. I'm good. I don't want plagues. Right? And we know a lot of these plagues have befallen and, and been upon Israel, man. Health issues. Right? You get you got uh you got special needs, right? Missing chromosomes. Hey, bodies built built like refrigerators. Deformed. Ah, deformed. Okay. Little legs. All oh, right. Right? But plagues also go into famine. That it's gonna go into pestilence, bubonic plague, coronavirus. So many things, huh? HIV, hepatitis C, mm. right? Uh, mm. Clap, gonorrhea. <laughs> well, let me go down that list, right? Mm. Full blown. I said AIDS already. Mm. Yeah. AIDS, full blown, right? Talking about Pat Magic Johnson took the magic pill, nigga, please. Mm. Trying to give everybody hope, huh? And that's why they got all those AIDS commercials now. God. Trying to give everybody hope because the most hottest cinema plague, man. That they are not running away from. Something that the clinic can't fix. Mm -mm. Can't fix, I. I'm going to give you seven times the plagues. <laughs> All right. Come on, man. The most high is treacherous. We went over it on Tuesday, right? He's the god of terror. God. He's, on, he's the king of terror. Go ahead. Unto you according to your sin. Right. Uh, uh, hold on. He's going to bring the plague because of what? Uh, according to your sin. According to your sin. Go ahead. Verse 22. Come, yeah, how, how we got breathing issues. Ebola, right. right? Breathing issues, man. Lungs collapse. Mm. You got to sleep on your knees. Mm. 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 Go ahead. I will also send wild beasts right. among you. Come on. Which shall rob you. Of your children. I'm going to have lions come snatch up your kids. Pit bulls come snatch up your kids. Rockwilers come snatch up your kids. Snakes bite your kids. Mm. Like, this is the God we worship. And we think it's a game. You better, do, you, you better, you better send a mass text out. All you wicked niggas, don't text me. All no, right. <laughs> What's that? You said, uh... I would say in every few years, either the same one gets worse or you get a new one. Come on, I, it's a perpetual disease, man. But we still think what? We can do whatever we want to. That tech, I, we so sleepy. Israel's sleepy, I. Wake up out your sleep, man. Israel is sleepy. That's why he's touching people, man. Go ahead. And destroy your cattle. And destroy what? Your cattle. All your goods. All your wealth. Your house is caving in. Roof done caved in. Mm. House is flooded. How does it affect your, your, your money now? How does it affect your property now? Car done broke down. Here we go again. Here we go again. Right? Go ahead. Car repo. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> yeah. Or you think you're getting evicted. <laughs> all your clothes, all your clothes right. and furniture outside, y'all. You're getting evicted. <laughs> Most high to scare you. Go ahead. And make you few in number. You hear that? Most I say, I got to kill you. Make you few in number. Come on. And your highway shall be desolate. Yeah, you ain't going to go nowhere. Mm. That's why a lot of people ain't got no vehicles, man. Mm. That's why a lot of people ain't got no vehicles, man. Because they're not responsible enough anyway. Mm. But what are we doing? Free Ubers. I mean, you better than me. They want to catch the bus. <laughs> if they ain't coming to class, they catching the bus. That's why they got free transportation. God. Because the most high needs to put them through what? Them highways being desolate, man. Yeah. Yeah. So we try to do what? We try to make smooth deals for them. Right. And they don't give a damn, man. Mm -hmm. I got to do this. You know why I ask? Because a lot of our people are being hurt. You get, you get, you get bit. You know, that's why I said, uh, it says, uh, pity not a, a, a snake charmer. Come. How are you going to pity a snake charmer? He's dealing with snakes. You're going to get bit. I can't even be mad. Like, I, don't feel, I don't feel bad for you. Because the Most High is showing us, man, what to stay away from, to stay away from the pain. Yeah. Right? To stay away from these plagues that he said was going to befall our people. Right? Jump to verse 18. Down. And that'll be it. 18 
and 19. This is what the Most High said was going to befall our people. Read. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 18. Go ahead. And if ye will not yet, for all these hearken. If, if you will not change your mind after I told you all these threats, Most High is giving threats. I'm going to break your ass. I'm going to put beasts. I'm going to put plagues. I'm going to make your relationship go into the dumpster. I'm going to put a spirit on some random person to now come after you. Did y'all see that? Uh, I think Bakar sent the video of uh, Judah that got stabbed up by Esau. Esau had demons on him. The one that the, the girl that denied his advances and he stabbed her to death. He changed up his clothes. Yeah. Yeah, um, in my hometown... Uh, just yesterday, right? Um, it was a road rage situation at Chick Fil A. Look at this at Chick Fil A. At Chick Fil A, they a daily dose of that of that FDA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Basically, this guy shot and killed this other guy. Look at this. And the guy who, who killed the dude was a cop. Look at that. Because of um, somebody cut somebody off. Right. Trying to get lemonade. And you know. And it's probably like, using sauce. They went to pushing each other. Look at it. And the dude was like, oh, I'm a cop, I'm a cop. Right. He walked away to his um, to his vehicle. Right, I'm going to show you what a cop so is about. the dude jumped in the car trying to get away. The, the cop, cop tried to... No, no, the other dude. The cop jumped in the guy's car and, and basically shot him. And so he jumped in the other guy's car and shot him in his, in his car. The yeah, other guy's in car. In his own car, kind of. Madness, right? Like. Madness, yeah. but, but that's the point, though. He's a spirit, like, that's created for vengeance. Yeah. That white man, right, Esau, attacked Judah and stabbed her to death and then switched up his clothes. They got it all on camera. He had his nice sweats on, dipped that off, took his hat off, ran around, did this, then stabbed her up. Wow. Y'all see this? Huh? He said, I'm going to do what? What you got, uh, you're right. And then you got uh, Judah, I think he's from out of New York City. Right. Um, just because it was uh, two twins, mm. uh, the dude was trying to highlight one of them, and she denied them. No, that's what I'm talking about. Same story. Same story? Same story. They're twins. Oh, the one on, okay, I thought you were talking about the one on the, the Caucasian dude on the train. He was, like, spying, waiting for that, that two was, sisters. No, I think that was the one. Nah, that was a different one. That's different. Yeah, there was like they look the same. They got like a little crop top. Jake that did that to twins. Oh, bro. It was a Jake guy. Yeah. Oh, damn. Jake got there, serial killer. Damn. Hey, go ahead. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, if this ass whooping still ain't gonna get you to hearken unto me, right? If if you being on the back of your back, right, ain't gonna get it. It's not going to get through your thick skull. Go ahead. Then I will punish you Go ahead. seven times more for your sins. Somebody raise your hand. Tell me you want that. Who wants that seven times more, man? Raise your hand, man. Who want to put God on check? Uh, who want to test the most high? Put your hand up if that's you. Put your hand if that's you. You want to try that seven times more. Read it again. Which one of y'all want to do that one, man? Raise your hand. Come on. Read that one more time. Verse 18. Uh -huh. And if ye will not yet for all this, hearken unto me. Go ahead. Then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. Our people going to go through it, man. Your mama going to go through it if they don't change and repent. Your daddy's going to go through it if they don't change and repent. Your friends and family's going to go through it if they don't change and repent. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Yeah. This, this is a threat by the most high. What else you say? Huh? Finish the threat. Yeah. Finish what? Finish, no, no. Finish his promise. This is a promise. Yeah. This, is, this is a promise. God is not a man that he should lie. Come. Nor is the son that he should repent. It's coming. Come. If he said it, it's going to happen. Come. And this is what a lot of our people got to wake up to. And the reason why we kind of went through the discourse is that for the believer, you want to be around them when that death angel comes out. You do not want to be around those people, man, when that dog pit bull slide across the corner. When that miraculous uh, swinging bullet busts them in their neck. You don't want to be out there, man. You over there at that concert getting stomped on. Talking about a bunt. I seen a picture of a bunt. 
They said that was an old picture, but he looks sick, going through it. Right? You at the Gorilla Glue concert getting stomped out. Can't breathe. <laughs> Breath is getting just pushed out. Read. Verse 19. Come on. And I will break the pride of your power. Man, look, I know, I know. A lot of us won't know it until we, until we feel it. You don't know the water's hot until what? It touches you. <laughs> it touches you. We don't, a lot of us won't know that the Most High is real until he does what? Until he got to touch you. Mm. He warns us. We're so poor, we don't have to be touched. Come. Y'all should be, we should be excited about being put on, uh, uh, I don't want to use the word game, mm. but literally giving us the information to stay away from danger. Come. How to stay away from punishment. Mm. Right? Come. He says, Seven times more for your sins. Read 19. And I will break the pride of your power. I'm going to break that pride. I'm going to break the pride. Go ahead. And I will make your heaven right. as iron. You hear that? Your whole lifestyle is going to suck. I'm going to make your heaven as iron. Your boss going to be on your neck. Go ahead. And your earth as bread. Your air mattress is going to deflate. You ain't going to have no place to stay. Oh man. You're gonna be living in you'll be living in a in a vehicle. Whatever it might be, won't so I'm gonna make you go through it. Mm-hmm. See, but this is what Israel thinks they can run away from. Because they don't want to hear correction. They don't want to hear reproof. They don't want to hear wisdom. But we're saying this to bring it out for brothers and sisters to understand you don't have to go through the pain. And the most high doesn't want you to be what? He doesn't want you to be in a crossfire. Huh? He don't want you to be in a crossfire. When now the wicked is a ransom for the righteous. The wicked is a ransom for the righteous. Read, finish it. Verse 20. That's it on that. Y'all see that? I mean that, that whole y'all can read that whole Leviticus 26. So brothers and sisters, the water for watching. Um uh, you're right, go ahead and cut this off. The water for watching. Um I'm gonna say this, we got another weekend, right? Tomorrow. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Tomorrow, VA is going to be live. Uh, VA is going to be live on Shabbat morning class as well. Please check uh, check that video out. Lock in on those days. Passover is coming on the rise, on the horizon. If you say that SOW is your school, uh, Lord willing, we'll see you out there in San Antonio on the 30th, right? Um, safe travel for brothers and sisters that's traveling from different areas. May the Most High bless your uh, your lane. If it's via air, uh, airplane, bus, train, vehicle, whatever it might be. Listen, if y'all need counsel, hit us up. Don't be shy. Uh, remember and understand uh, Malachi 3 and 16. They that spake and often one to another. It was written in a book. So, you know, continue to fight the old man, continue to fight the old woman, receive the most high's discipline. Ecclesiastes 2 and 15 says, receive, that it? I think it says, uh, receive the most high's discipline. So don't shy away from the knowledge, the wisdom. All right? So with that, I'm going to say shalom. Shalom! shalom.